Sean Beleza, what's up? Uh, let's see, chat. I need to edit the chat. Nandami ko kailangan edit pala. Jesus. Uh, oh my god, okay. Uh, let's do. Yung full screen, bag bagoy natin yung chat. Mm, chat, 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 chat. Nasan si chat? Ayun. There we go. And then yung isa pa. Kaya mo po <laughs> Thanks, man. Uh, marami tayong uh, ano ngayon, mga kalokohan ngayon. Alright, that should do it. Okay. On Facebook. Ito naman si Facebook. Baka sa ano? Sa, how, how do you feel kung sa Facebook na lang tayo mag-BTS? I know may audience kasi ako sa ano eh. May audience kasi ako sa YouTube and, and there are a lot of people who watch naman na uh, wala sa community. All right, let's uh let's see if we can and lasa man ng music. Okay, message in na natin si uh ating guest for tonight. Ano may kaya ang gamit ni Yo, what's up? Hello po, kuya. Malinaw ba ako? Okay lang. Hmm, same same. Okay, okay. <laughs> Good. Ito na. Malapit na tayo magsimula, bro. Um, okay. ano bang meron ka ng last words of ano or wala naman? <laughs> <laughs> last words. <laughs> Parang ibabash na ako. <laughs> hindi, bro. Hindi, hindi. hindi. Actually, pwede ba ako mag-share ng screen ko? Uh, microphone... See, okay. Hindi ko pwede i-share yung screen ko, no? Yun lang. Hindi ko... Uh, ang, ang ano lang nito is yung mga websites na pinapakita ko sa stream. Hindi mo makikita. Pero, basically, yung ano lang naman, yung iPhone, ha? Kabisado mo na yan, di ba? Ah, okay. Alright. Well, uh, magsa-start tayo ng mga 10 minutes pero malamang uh, pwede ko na siyang simulan. So, kung meron ka, anong tawag sa tsunami na maliit? May que may, may joke question si uh, Ewan ko kung joke question ito si Sean Beleza tinatanong from YouTube. Anong tawag sa tsunami na maliit? Tsunami na maliit. Sa start ko na yung sa <laughs> So, start ko na yung sa Facebook. So, magla-live na tayo sa Facebook niyan. <coughs> Tsunami! Alright. So, should be okay. Medyo, ano, so, medyo nakangapa din ako ng konti kasi nags ngayon lang ako nag, uh, uh, tag dito. Ngayon lang ako nagsubok mag-stream on Facebook ng ulit. Matagal na ako hindi nagaganito. Wait lang, ano nangyari? Kinancel ko ba yung stream? Ano nangyari? Ah, hindi ko napindot yung go live. Wait, ano nangyari? Hindi lang ah. Alright. Go live. Yon, okay. Nakita mo? Nagwa-browse ka ba? Nakita ko. Ah, okay. 
Ang kaya ng internet mo, ah. Baka mamaya, sabi mo, pinapahirapan ka ng... Magsalita ka nga, check ka lang. Check ko yung audio mo. Check ko yung audio levels mo. Sabi mo, hi, kuyas. Hi, kuyas. Parang mababa. Andali lang. Andali lang, eh. Video capture device. Oh, that's why. Okay. Buka mo ulit. Hello, Kuya. Yon, perfect. Okay na, okay na. Huwag ka sa side ko yung problema doon, ha? <laughs> okay, okay. Yung, uh, ang, ang ano nito, yung mga comments, eh. Test. Nine minutes to go. <laughs> Nine minutes. Hindi, live na tayo. We're on. Pero, hindi. Okay, ini, inuna, inunahan ko na kasi. Inunahan ko na. <laughs> Wala naman nagsagot ng... Sean Beleza, ano yung, ano, yung, ano yung sagot sa tsunami na maliit? Mm, alon. <laughs> alon. <laughs> Ay, yung maliit, nga, yung nga pala, 720p lang yung stream sa ano, sa... 720p lang nga pala yung stream sa ano, sa Facebook, ano? Hindi nila kaya 1080p. <laughs> well, actually, may 1080p na sa Facebook, pero ano lang, yung uh, kailangan member ka nung gaming stream... Eh, klavu nila eh. Mm. Mm. May na naman yan. Hindi, wala naman bayad yan, kuya. Ano lang, <laughs> kailangan lang, kailangan mag-register ka as gaming creator. Mm. Ayun, live na tayo. Uh, <laughs> Maagaga pa, so 8 minutes. Pero kamusta naman, kuya? Um, okay naman. Medyo trending pa rin talaga yung iPhone na yan. <laughs> <laughs> Sandali lang. Ang aga-aga. Ang aga- wait lang, wait lang. Wait lang, wait lang, wait lang. Bakit uh, nangangamusta ako? iPhone agad yung gusto mong pag-usapan, kuya. Um, wala lang. Kasi lahat kong nakikita sa YouTube feed, di ba? Yung ganun. Home feed ng YouTube. Ay, ganun talaga. Ganun talaga, kuya. Hindi naman mawawala yun. Nasaan yan eh? Depende. Uh, baka, baka, yeah, baka, pwede mo naman baguhin yung fina-follow mo sa, sa YouTube, kuya. Hmm. Kaya lang. Ay, uh, lang din naman. <laughs> nakita ko naman yung specs nila. Oo oh, hindi. Nakita, well, specs. Madali lang yun. Uh, so, hindi. Nakita lang. Nag-ano tayo eh. Kung nakangapa tayo. Yung, yung mga live viewers natin. Tignan. <laughs> Stream now. Huwag ang mga lala ko. Yan. Ano lang tayo. Chill lang tayo. Chill. Mm, chill lang. Chill lang. Sarap ng panahon ng lamig. <laughs> Oo nga. Kaya lang. Medyo uh, alanganin lang sa bagyo. Mm-mm. <laughs> Buti nga, hindi bumabagal yung PLDT kahit mabagyo. <laughs> yeah. Ah, a PLDT yung connection mo, Kuya. Mm-mm. Anong, Kayo po, Kuya. Uh, ito, PLDT din. Uh, fiber ito eh. Ano yung sa'yo? Fiber? Hindi. <laughs> Wala, DSL lang. Mm. Kung mahirap lang. <laughs> Pero okay din. DSL din ako dati from PLDT. Um, mm. uh, nasa 2,000 ata per month yung DSL ko dati. Y- yun lang hindi hindi ano pag pagka DSL talaga hindi mo kaya mag-stream pare. Hindi ano. No, may <coughs> sige sige po. Oo. <coughs> hindi mo na ako. Sige lang. Kalma, kalma lang, chill lang. Walang ano, walang pressure dito. Sorry. Hindi <coughs> mo na ako bigla. <laughs> Ginagawa ko 'yan every Masalim stream. Sa akin nakakain kung chicherya. Chicherya. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> oh, pasensya na. Mga magagalaw. <coughs> Grabe. <clears throat> Kayo kuya, anong MBPS yung fiber niyo kuya? Ah, uh, ano to eh. So, ang uh, 2 2 8 2 8 2 8 2 GBPS? 2 8 9 9. Okay. So, 2 8 9 9. So, ang... Mali, 50, 50 MBPS. Yes, 50 50. Oh, 50 MBPS, wow, 50 MBPS. Wow, sarap! <laughs> Ma, ano ka, <laughs> medyo uh, updated ka sa ano, sir, ha? Sa... Sa mga internet ah, mga ano ka ba, talagang ba, ma, ma, mahilig kang magbasa sa mga internet-internet? Mm, sakto lang naman po kasi ano, bago, bago kasi may magpakabit ng internet, kinukompare-compare ko yung mga ano. Yes, yeah, so Internet kung ano yung pinakamabilis, ganyan, kung may mga data caps, <laughs> yun. <laughs> ah, may hindi. Oh, sa PLDT, uh, thankfully, walang data caps so far, no? Uh, sabi, oh, ni, ako, sabi, ni, sabi ni, sabi ni, sabi ni Sean Beleza, Eddie, tsuna mo. Tuna mo. <laughs> Loko ko to, ah. Tuna mo! Ah, uh, mga tagal. 
bago-bago. Well, uh, medyo ang nagkataon lang na may binago tayo sa stream ngayon. So that's why lumipat ako sa ano eh, sa extra channel ko ng YouTube eh. Alam ko namang minsan na nun, di ba may di ba may main YouTube channel ako, di ba? Uh, mm-hmm. itong stream na to nasa nasa secondary channel ngayon kasi na ano tayo eh, na may uh, ano na naman tayo sa mga copyright copyright like last ano ba yan 2016 na tayo mm, na copyright ng YouTube yeah na copyright copyright na naman tayo kaya na ano tayo dyan eh let's see yun lang chillax lang <laughs> <laughs> makakabalik tayo sa main eh, hindi uh, yung, yung main channel ko na na-uploadan ko pa pero hindi ako pwedeng mag stream dun sa ano ngayon uh, tsunam mo po ha hindi tsunam mo ano? Anong kay kay Bahano ni Loco ako ni Sean Belez. Kaya po kaya musta naman po kayo? Okay naman. Uh, tinatanong ni Carlo Reyes who's that? Wait, so hindi pa tayo nagsisimula eh pero kung sa mga nagtatanong mga kuya, ang uh, si uh, make ang guest po natin today is the one, the only ang ating pinaka-active na nagpo-post ng mga News. Hello po ulit. Sa BTS si uh, si Sir Adrian D. Max. Yan. Hello, magandang gabi. <laughs> magandang gabi daw sabi ni Sir Adrian. Ah, uh, hindi, hindi pa tayo nagsisimula eh. Gusto ko makikwentuhan lang eh. Pero si Sir Adrian daw is uh, uh, Okay, sige. Pwede, ma- medyo magtatanong na ako kasi wala akong shadow. Ah, uh, na- mahilig ka talaga sa gadgets or discussion or something. Hindi ko gets yung parang napaka-active mo, bro. Um, mahilig talaga ako mostly sa mga cellphones, mm-hmm. smartphones, ganyan. Mm-hmm. Konting mga internet na ano, issue sa Philippines, so ganyan. So, ba, ba, paano ka nahilig? Anong, anong history mo? Anong na, ano mo? Talagang sa phones lang, sa mga PC, wala masyado hindi masyado? Ah, hindi masyado. Sa PC, medyo ano ni, complicated na kasi. Yeah, medyo, medyo. Pero minsan, gusto ko rin matuto sa computer, tsaka laptops, oh. ng specs. Oh. Kuya Carlo, uh, gusto... Carlo Reyes, uh, kung gusto mo magnood sa YouTube, nasa ano tayo, sa Extras Channel tayo. So, ando naman yung link eh. Makita nyo naman yung link sa, dito sa baba ng ano, nung uh, ating announcement. Yan. So, Extras Channel tayo. Sorry, sorry. Uh, anong, anong, Sabi mo, uh, Kuya Adrian? Yes, po. Ito pala, uh, I can share my thing. screen. Okay. Add Facebook. No, hindi pwede. Kailangan ng extension. Never mind. Go ahead. Okay. Nung since pa nung ano talaga eh, uh, kasikatan ng Nokia around 2008, mga ganun. 2000? Doon ako nahilig talaga. Doon ako nahilig mag-check-check ng mga cellphones. Pero mostly, puro Nokia lang talaga yung mga nache-check ko dati. Okay. So, nap- Kasi nahilig... ano, nagkakot ako ng mga brochures. <laughs> Mga mm. brochures ng Nokia. Talaga? Okay. Mm. So... Hanggang ngayon, nag-ibon pa rin naman. <laughs> grabe ah. De, uh, I like Nokia naman. Ang, ako sa totoo lang, ano, yung, uh, malaki support ko sa Nokia. Especially nung wala pa masyadong Android or ano. Pero yun nga lang na... Ganun talaga nila. Ganun talaga. Na ano lang talaga sa, nagkamali, and, sa, ano, sa Windows Phone. <laughs> na nagkamali, lang, nagkamali lang talaga sila ng decision. Mm, mm. sa pagbili ng ano Microsoft. Hindi binili sila ano ng mic- binili sila ng Microsoft. Yun hmm. lang talaga yung nangyari doon. Ah, uh, kaya kasi wala nangyari. <laughs> yeah, I mean Nako marami ako kung kung pwede lang ako mag dami kong gusto kong sabihin. Well, uh, ano ba? <laughs> Tsaka inalok na pala sila dati ng Google about doon sa Android software uh, na. Ano kasi? Ang gihan ng Nokia. <laughs> ang gulo kasi. So si si Nokia nung panahon na 'yon, 'di ba? Medyo mm-hmm. ano sila eh, uh, hindi hindi naman sa ano. May mga uh, may uh, may mga boss si Nokia nung time na 'yon na ayaw mm-hmm. mag-Android, hindi ba? May may okay. mga boss si Nokia nung, nung panahon na 'yon nung suma- kasagsag ka ano ka nagiging popular si Android. Nag nagano sila nag ayaw nilang may galit sa Android so sabi nila ayon never sila mag Android so ang nangyari nga lang so since hindi sila nag Android wala silang smart user interface yung dati nilang mm-hmm. interface is Symbian di ba tapos meron Symbian, silang Symbian oh. pa silang inimbento ng iba pang UI and whatnot na yung um, 
Ano ba tong nasa, hindi, nakalimutan ko na yung pangalan niya, mga express music na yung touch-touch nila. Medyo hindi lang ganun ka-intuitive at the time. Tsaka syempre, yung screen niya hindi pa ganun kaganda. Hmm. Um, Tsaka pal- kalalabas na lang yata ng iPhone nun eh. Or yes, ar- around the time. Mga one or two years after iPhone, mga ganun. So, ganun na nga. Uh, <laughs> napilitan tuloy sila lumipat to, ano, to, what's it called? To, to Windows Phone. Um, mm-hmm. I, 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 Pero wala <laughs> Si Win- Windows wala. Phone naman is an entirely different, ano talaga, usapan. I mean, different OS ma- talaga mabigat, na, mabigat na maraming usapan talaga si Windows Phone, sa totoo lang. Um, mm-hmm. Pero, eh, doon sila napadpad eh, kasi ayaw nila mag-Android eh. Ako, ako sa tal- talaga, matagal na matagal ko nang gusto mag-Android si, si ano, si, si Nokia. Si Nokia, o, oh, si sobra. Uh-huh. Sabi ko, kung, kung pwede lang, ang ganda ng cameras ni Nokia, and, uh, mm, the Lumia. Ay, ano yun, pure, pure View, the Scarlet. Yeah, yeah. yeah meron, ako, meron ako nung Lumia 1020 eh. Uh, Talaga? Oh, may Lumia 1020. Oh, nandito pa rin. Uh, nandun sa kahon dito sa baba ng pa ako. Um, nice. And then, meron ako ng... Gumagana pa. Gumagana pa, kaya lang nabali ko yung pin nung SIM tray. So, yung SIM hindi gumagana. Uh, pero, hmm. yung uh, camera niya maayos pa, yung windows niya maayos pa, yung display maayos pa. So, walang problema doon. So, ginagamit ko Kino siya... Kinusuportan pa ba ng windows yung software? Hindi, ah, hindi na. Deads na <laughs> <laughs> rest, in, na. rest in peace na yun, brother. <laughs> mm. Pero yung camera nun, kaya makapagsabayin sa Huawei P20 Pro. Ah, uh, medyo, medyo. Uh, ang, ang, ano ba? Sabayan yeah, is a... Uh, sabayan is a complex word, I would say. Pero, in terms of yung image quality, pag nakuha mo na yung picture, ano? pag nakuha mo na yung picture mm-hmm. talaga with the Lumia 1020, Ibang ano, ibang dating, malinaw na malinaw talaga. They really uh, they really made that image quality very good. Uh, so tingin ko in today's standards, medyo iba na kasi today's standards is in terms of image quality, iba na yung pag pinag-uusapan eh. HDR na yung pinag-uusapan, uh, yeah. processing na yung pinag-uusapan. Ang weakness ni Lumia 1020, especially ngayon, is mahina na yung processor niya. So, hmm. sa totoo lang... Pero Qualcomm ba yun? Qualcomm ba? Uh, ano uh, dual, dual core na Qualcomm Crate 1.5 GHz. Dual core lang. Uh, nung time na yun, <laughs> nung time na yung uso na yung quad core. So, medyo pahuli talaga si Nokia in terms of perform- uh, yung, yung processor. Kasi Windows Phone nga eh. Nahihirapan si Nokia sa Windows Phone at the time. Um, I mean, na, na, medyo when it comes to Windows Phone, yung specs talaga ng Windows Phone is hindi... Kasi kasabay ng Android at the time, hindi ba? Ayaw ko kung masya... Mm-hmm. Ano mo, usually, <coughs> ang Android is quad-core. Nung time na yun, is Windows yes. Phone is dual-core pa. So, medyo nahuhuli. So, medyo dun din sila natalo when it comes to people comparing specs, di ba? Pag sinabing ganito yung specs ng Android, pero yung Windows mm-hmm. Phone, ang baba ng specs ng ano. Hmm. Tsaka, ano lang, konti lang din ng gaming developers na sa Windows. Ay, go, konti talaga. <laughs> Kaya yun, o, o. hindi siya sumihigat talaga. Oo oh, nga eh. Hindi, mara- hmm. I think marami ring pitfall si Windows Phone. Uh, as somebody who's used a lot of Windows Phones, um, yung user interface or at least yung complete, ne- kulang, kulang talaga yung user interface para sa akin. Hindi siya, hmm. there's a lot of problems. Especially nung unang panahon na, Hindi mo pwedeng walang shortcut for Wi-Fi for example. So, oh, wala. Pupunta ka pa sa settings, tas din. Bubuksan mo pa. Papakabasura nung ganong interface na. <laughs> Napakabasura ya unlock mo. So swipe kang ganun. Okay, nasaan yung Wi-Fi ko? Hindi hindi ko pwedeng pumunta. Swipe, 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 swipe na settings. O ang tapos ang hirap basahin. Hindi napaka unorganized yung settings niya na ang dami mong um, swipe para lang mahanap mo yung yung Wi-Fi siyang, settings. Ano, quick quick ano ba yan quick wala siyang shortcuts for uh-huh. yeah, so oh, specifically shortcuts. for mga wifi wifi eh napaka importante ng wifi mm-hmm. magset di ba or turn mm-hmm. on turn on or turn off ng data napakahirap din for example di ba ah uh, <laughs> pa settings oh later later on na nagkaroon ng mga parang yung yung icons na live tile na to turn on, turn off mga data. Ganun, later on na yun eh. Pero mm-hmm. sobrang huli na. Sobrang huling-huli na. When it comes to... Huli na, panaos na yun. Yeah. Panaos when... na yung Windows nun. Oo, kung, kung itatapat mo sa Android at the time, is yung Android, punong-puno na ng mga widgets, 
punong-puno na ng mga shortcuts, punong-puno shortcuts, na ng mga... Tsaka, yung home screen, pwede mong icons. customize. Exactly. Pwede mm-hmm. mong palitan yung wallpaper, pwede mong i-root, pwede mong ano. So, sobrang advanced ang customization ng Android at time. Na sobrang mm-hmm. parang nasa ano, parang <laughs> kulang-kulang yung ano mo. Kulang-kulang yung user, user interface mo. Kaya talaga hindi sumikat si Windows Phone, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. yon So, uh... Yun lang naman. And then, yun na nga. Uh, si, napilitan si Nokia because medyo anti sila sa Android at the time. Napilitan silang kumapit kay kay Microsoft. Uh, and then, <laughs> nandun din siya. Sayang lang eh. talaga. Sayang lang pera ni Microsoft. Hindi, mali din. Hindi. Well, ma- uh, iba pa yung ano iba pa yung problema ni Microsoft. That, uh, iba pa yung usapan ng Microsoft at the time. The Microsoft at the time was under somebody else. So, hindi si, si Satya na Dela yung nas, na kay, yung Microsoft ngayon eh si uh, pero before before that uh, may iba yung naghahandle nakalimutan ko na pangalan and then yung decisions niya were actually very bad for Microsoft at the time um, kasama siya dun sa for example si Xbox One they bet on like TV functionality and whatnot palpak tuloy sa Xbox One um, and then yun nagdecide sila bilin si Nokia <laughs> yun yung ano dun Uh, sabi ni Farmer Sanchez Pero yung camera ng G- Lumia 950 Matindi sa low light ah, Matindi talaga Original Nokia pa yun eh Original Nokia pa yun eh Si ano pa yun eh fin- Yung 1020 ba? Pure view ba yun? Yeah, pure view, pure view. Yung, ano, oh, pure view. Oh. Pero, uh, pero totoo lang Branding lang naman Yung mga pure view Pure view na yun eh Tsaka ano uh, Maganda lang pakinggan Tsaka ma- yung, yung baga Parang pinangalan mo Lumia di ba? Ah Lumia tuloy Parang okay. parang Lumix di ba? Branding yun eh So the if a product has a branding dumadating sa yun ng certain di ba pag sinabi kong Lamborghini inisip mo pangit bang kotse yan hindi di ba may pa, may, pa, may, pa, may pangit bang Lamborghini hindi wala di ba so yung pure view branding na yan te- technically branding na yan. paano kung pag sinabi kong sa yung saraw pero sobrang ganda as in Lamborghini yung ganda maniniwala ka ba hindi di ba <laughs> Kasi hindi siya Lamborghini, di ba? So may may effect din yung Premium branding. Yun. Premium sports. Oh. So sa totoo lang, in the real world, pwedeng magkaroon ng saraw jeep na kasing ganda ng Lamborghini. Pero kung wala nung branding, medyo iba yung dating. So imp- the branding ba- 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 parang baba ba yung ano niya value. The branding technically means nothing, pero it still signifies yung quality ng product, hindi ba? Mm-hmm. So, yes, yung Lumia ko is pure view. I mean, may, may mga marami namang pure view, yung 950 ata pure view din, 920 pure view din. Uh, so, ayun, babalik na, babalik na ang pure view ng Nokia. Yes, babalik na. Oh, so ito yan. Oh, so the question is kung babalik yung pure view ng Nokia, do you think yung quality nung nung camera will be as good as yung at least yung better than yung yung typical pure view uh, typical camera ng Nokia ngayon. Hello tita. Hello po. Tawag kami. <laughs> Hello daw. Uh, so sa tingin mo yung quality ng photos niya would be better? Baka malagpasan pa. Malagpasan, malagpasan pa. pa. Malaki yung tuwala mm. mo sa bagong Nokia pare. Mm, syempre eh, kasi ano pa rin naman siya nung dating Nokia, di ba? na under lang ng HMD kasi ginagawa ng tasks. Ah, hindi, hindi. So, um, in terms of how many, in terms of what Nokia is today, wala nang, halos like skeleton na lang yung natitira sa, ano ngayon, sa, what's it called? Sa, sa how many, let's say, how many Finland employees? Kasi Nokia used to be, be, yung original Nokia is a Finland company. Mm. ba diba? Yes. Ah, mm. uh, Yung ano ngayon is, yung natitirang engineers no. and, and management and developers and whatnot from film doon, napaka-konti na lang. Like, I'm sure it's less than 10% na lang. The entire Nokia company is mostly HMD na. HMD Global. So, HMD Global is a big Chinese conglomerate. So, essentially, Nokia is basically an, a Chinese company. Parang Motorola yan ng Lenovo. Parang ganun. It's basically, wala nang, you, wala nang, wala nang counterpart si Motorola in the United States. Uh, Motorola phones are developed, produced, manufactured, engineered in China by Chinese. 
uh, employees. Sinokia is very, very much the same. Uh, produced, manufactured, engineered, developed by Chinese uh, company HMD. Napaka-konti na lang yung makukuha, makikita mo mga Finnish uh, na, na, na people sa, sa Nokia. Generally, yung nakikita mo sa mga YouTube channel nila, mga Finnish pa. Kasi kinukuha Para maganda pa rin tig- mabango pa rin tignan yung ano yung yung mga YouTube channel nila. Nokia, ganun yung ano nila eh pag sa sa here in Nokia, di ba? Di ba? Ganun sila. Uh, Pero di ba kung titingnan mo naman yung ano ngayon, mga Nokia lines of products nila, di ba? Parang matibay, di ba? Yes, uh, so natulad pa rin siya nung dati. Maganda maganda nagawa ni ni Nokia so far HMD. because of So far, ma, ano, uh, nakaka, mukhang, mukhang trustworthy pa rin sila. Mukhang uh, quality mm-hmm. pa rin yung produkto nila so far para sa akin. Um, yun lang, yun lang. Uh, medyo, you know, yung, yung mga original developers lang talaga ni Nokia is hindi ko na nakikita. Yung mga, si, si Damien Dinning kasi yung, yung ano ko dyan. Ako fanboy ako ni Damien Dinning. Siya yung original PureView mm-hmm. developer. Siya yung original na sinusundan mo for actual camera quality. Uh, si Damien Dinning ngayon, unfortunately, nasa land, uh, nasa ano siya ngayon? Nasa Audi ata or Land Rover or something like that. So, nasa European car company siya ngayon. Uh, so, medyo wala na siya doon. I mean, marami pa rin siyang, if you, if you go to his uh, Twitter page, makikita mo yung kanyang Twitter information. Teka lang, check ko nga. Damien Dinning Twitter. Uh, let's see, yan. Ayun, at phone does yung ano niya. You know, okay. So, ang, ito yung Twitter profile niya nakasulat. Previously helped create the world's best camera smartphones during my ano to, nearly 10 years at Nokia. Now at Jaguar Land Rover wow. creating connected cars. Uh, nice. Tapos pag, bina, pag binabasa mo yung mga, ano niya, yung mga tweets niya, it's all about cameras pa rin. So ito, sabi niya, hugely disappointed at Nikon's initial lens selection of the new Ziri series. So mga cameras pa rin yung pinag-uusapan niya even though kotse na yung trabaho niya. Tapos yung, yung profile picture niya is dalawang, fo- hulaan mo kung ano nasa profile picture niya. Yung ano, Lumia, ay, PureView camera. Oo, oh, yung, yung Lumia 1020 and yung, yung ano, yung PureView 808. O, oh, di ba? So, so, sino pa? Di ba? Minahal niya talaga yun. Minahal niya talaga yun. Trabaho niya yun. Yun yung ano niya eh. Yun yung uh, le- legacy niya eh. Legacy ni Damien hmm. Dinning yun eh. So, uh, let's see. I have, I see some comments uh, sa YouTube. Teka lang. Uh, SM Pure View. <laughs> ah, loko to ah. Kasi SM Pure View, di ba? <laughs> loko si kuya. SM Pure View. <laughs> Na, nas, nasa Quezon City pala si ano si Damian Dinning. Uh, so ibig sabihin yung tech sabi ni Farmer Sanchez, yung tech or patent behind the PureView branding wala talaga sa HMD at nasa Microsoft pa rin. No, ang PureView is Nokia Nokia ano talaga yun? Uh, patent Nokia natin. talaga yun. Oo. Hmm. Ang tanong uh, I, I, I think ang nangyari lang is hindi nila binili yun from the from Nokia Finland. Kasi Nokia Finland still exists. They have, uh, I think, nag-rebrand sila or something like that. Uh, but they still own some of their patents. Um, sila nga nakauna ngayon sa 5G. <laughs> eh, okay lang yan. 5G lang yan. Well, uh, I mean... Iwan na naman ang PDP. Oo nga, yung, yung, yung announcement ng 5G. Ako, iniisip ko si ano siguro mag-ano sa 5G. Si, uh, si Samsung siguro or si LG. But then, uh, so okay. Ako, hindi naman ako interesado masyado sa 5G kasi alam mo naman tayo sa Pilipinas, mabagal naman ang... Hindi naman tayo masyado maapektuhan yun. <laughs> Sabi ni... Basta improve mo na yung 4G tsaka 3G. Yeah, improve mo na yung 4G, 3G. Improve. Exactly. Hmm. Sabi ni Tutong Channel, may mga extras ka daw. <laughs> so, may mga kumakaway daw na extra. Eh, okay lang yan. Ah, ganyan talaga tayo sa chill-chill na. Ano. Uh, so, uh, ang tag dito? Chillax lang. Oh, chillax lang. So, maybe we can start the show, no? Uh, officially. Uh, so, anybody who's watching, welcome to the show. Uh, this is the Big Time Show. And then... Welcome uh, uh, And uh, nag experiment tayo ng bago ngayon. And also, medyo napilitan tayo lumipat sa extras channel ng YouTube. No? Uh, because nga of uh, streaming kami. Hindi, walang, hindi, hindi, hindi kasalanan ni Kuya Adrian yan. 
Um, so welcome to the show. The, the show is called obviously the Big Time Show, and uh, it's isa tong usapan about mga gadgets and technology and stuff like that. Ang ating guest for today, and uh, bira tayo mag guest, but uh, buti na lang po mga si Kuya Adrian Dimax. Welcome to the show. Say hi to your uh, viewers. Welcome ulit. Hello po sa lahat. Magandang gabi. Yon. All right. So Sir Adrian Dimax is actually um, based. Uh, kung i kung i describe ko yung yung pag uh, uh, ang ano is super active Facebook gadgets poster ng news parang ganon right mm. uh, so ano yung nag-iinganyo sa yung mag mag post uh, gusto mo lang talaga mag post or gusto mo may 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 mag discuss ng tech or gusto mong may parang pag-usapan yung mga ganong mga technology or something Ako ano, gusto ko talaga ng pag-usapan yung mga ganong bagay na tungkol sa cellphones, mm, ganyan. Mm. Minsan sa mga processors, mga uh, ganyan. Uh, okay, ayos ay, yan. yan. <laughs> well, hopefully, hindi. Uh, uh, Nag-enjoy din naman kasi ako eh. Kaya, yun. Gusto. Well, hopefully ako. Ma- Tsaka, sige, sige. Buti may ganyan group. Buti may ganyan. Oh, yan. Yeah, 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 gusto ko narinig, <laughs> pari. <laughs> dati walang ganyan. Buti may mga ganyan na ngayon. Diba? Saya-saya. Yeah, so yun ang, yun ang gusto ko marinig kasi well, ako nung bata ako wala akong ganito eh. Walang wala naman akong kausap ng sa mga gadgets gadgets. Nandiyan nang galing parang hindi naman sa hindi siya sabi kong iba tayo or ganyan ako nang galing. But I'm saying na nung bata ako, hinahanap ko yung ganitong discussion, mga discussion. Oh, no? marami akong parang hugs ah, ko mapag-usapan to, gusto ko magtanong kung meron na experience or what not. Kasi syempre alam mo naman tayo, wala tayong pera, wala Facebook. <laughs> wala tayong pera, wala tayong ano, 'di ba? Wala tayong access. Buti na lang 'yun ang aming mga groups ngayon sa Facebook and uh, nasubukan na nabuksan natin 'tong ganitong Thank you Mark Zuckerberg. Thank you Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> eh, ako all. <laughs> may mga may mga hindi ako gusto sa Facebook, pero at least nandito tayo sa nandito tayo na pwede tayong mag-discuss, discuss. Mm-hmm. Sabi ni Jick Octavio, sabi niya mas okay dito sa FB. Uh, it looks like mas gusto niya yung mga streaming sa FB. Uh, guys, kung gusto niyo sa FB, yun nga. Hopefully, uh, mapapadala naman tayo. We're just gonna do BTS ulit dito sa Facebook again and then sa YouTube again Yay. at the same time. So, para sa mga gusto manood on Facebook, ganun. ang iniisip ko lang, paano kung... Kasi ang ang stream ko, well, this is hindi naman ganun ka-importante these days. Pero ang stream ko kasi, nilalagay ko yung comments ng mga nanonood dun sa right side ng stream. Para para lahat ng tao nakikita kung sino yung comment and whatnot. Gusto ko kasi yun para, baga, na, ma-feel mo nakasama ka sa discussion, di ba? Ma-feel mo na, uh, ang tag dito? Yung kung, kasama, kung sumali ka live sa show, may, may, mailabas mo yung opinion mo. Ito sa buong yes. show, di ba? Sa lahat na nanonood ng show. Uh, that's why gusto kong, gusto kong gawin yun next time na pinag-aaralan ko pa yung Facebook streaming na pwede ko sanang i-embed yung comments nyo sa right side. Right? Kasi right, right now nakikita ko lang yung yung post ni, yung comment ni Jake Octavio. Hindi ko siya pwedeng ilagay dun sa, dun sa overlay ko. Uh, pero yun, technical lang naman yun. Technical yun. Uh, problema ko yun. Hindi nyo problema yun. <laughs> All right, so uh, welcome to the show, big time show po. Yung nga tekno- technology discussion po ito, and uh, ang pinaka bagong news po. Uh, ang pinaka bagong news po today is of course, uh, ang this week is of course ang bagong iPhones ko yung. Toy lang, pwede ko ip- iPhone trending talaga. Yes, wait lang, miss us buong lang ako yun. Yeah. Be. Uh, Overpriced iPhone. <laughs> Sandali lang, kuya. Huwag ka muna mag-ano. Kalma lang, kalma lang. Uh, no, hindi yun eh. Hindi ko magana talaga. May, 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 may susubukan sana ako dun sa live eh. Pero mukhang hindi gagana. Babalik ako na lang to pag next time kong mag-stream. Asa na yung ating live? Ito na lang. Ito na lang. Ibabags ako na lang itong, itong live window. Sa, ito, ang pangit lang talaga nung kasama yung live window. Ay, kuya, kuya. Yes. May alam ba kayong nadadownload na Bluetooth application para sa Windows 10? Ah, uh, kailangan mo ng Bluetooth na, ano, na... May, 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 may ano naman, may... May Bluetooth na... Send nyo nga ako ng link. Hindi, 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 hindi. Wala akong mahanap eh. May module ba ng Bluetooth yung ano mo, yung PC mo? Ah... Uh, ano lang, pag sinesearch ko lang... 
Ano lang siya eh. Ano bang Bluetooth to? Ano ba yun? Desktop uh, or laptop? Yung desktop kadalasan walang Bluetooth. Laptop to eh. Laptop. Ayun, kung laptop meron ano yan. Punta ka sa Bluetooth settings mo. Nandun yun, Bluetooth settings. Wait lang. Mukhang wala yatang Bluetooth. <laughs> Well, anyway, so, uh, pwede kitang i-guide dyan sa, ano, off-stream na lang. Parang hindi masyadong, wala tayong downtime. Alright, so, yeah. Yun, yun, yun ang bagong topic ngayon is iPhone, ano. Actually, hindi ako masyado nakinig dito na medyo, um, as far as iPhone announcements go, hindi masyadong, hindi masyadong, ano, hindi masyadong interesting yung mga bagong iPhones. I know, I know, Kasi hindi na nasunod yung sinabi ni Steve Jobs. <laughs> ano? Bakit ano ba sinabi ni Steve Jobs? Kasi di ba ang sabi ni Steve Jobs dati, ayaw niyo nang malalaki yung screen. Gusto niya lang talaga maliliit lang. Ganun ba yon? Parang, yung ganun okay. Ganun ba Well, sa ano ba yung huling, <laughs> ano ba yung huling iPhone ni Steve Jobs? 6? Hmm, 5 yata o 5S. Okay, okay. I mean, no, mm, Pero lo, di ba yung 5, di ba in-expand na rin naman ng konti? Tinaas ng konti yung display ba yun? Something. Nasa 4 inch na yata yun. 4 inch something. Right, right, right. Well, maraming din sinabi si Steve Jobs. Alam mo naman. But, uh... Di, di, uh let, oh, ano? Sabagay, patay na eh. Yeah, rest in peace. Hindi <laughs> na talaga masunod yung gusto niya. Rest in peace. Ano ba tong kalokong re- sign-in to gadgets na with Google? Mga buwisi talaga mga website ngayon. Puro sign-in, sign-in shit na ngayon. Ads, alam, ads. alam mo yung mga website na po siya pagka, lo, log in, pagka browse mo yung sabi Sign up for notifications Saan po siya <laughs> Diyan sila kumikita ads yan <laughs> Yeah I know Basura talaga Wait lang Ililipat ko yung Alilipat ko yung window mo Sa upper right Sa ibabaw ng chat Para ano Yan Okay <laughs> So, bagong iPhone XR, XS, and XX. X, 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 X. Sabi nga nung... <laughs> sabi nga nung isang YouTuber, ang pangit daw nung pangalan eh. Ang haba kasi lalo yung 10S Max. Yung 10X Max talaga. Yun yung hindi ko gusto, pare. Napaka... <laughs> ano talaga? Napakahirap ba sa... Ano yun? <laughs> hindi, pero... <laughs> Oh. Saka pag sinabing max, parang ano eh, dapat malaki dapat yung battery, di ba? Hindi, min- nilakihan naman yata yung battery, di ba? Teka lang, mag-GSM Arena na lang ako, tinatamad ako magbasa. Check ko nga rin. <laughs> Kidney for uh, iPhone daw, sabi ni uh, G. Octavio. Let's see here. Check natin yung specs ng 10S Max. Yeah, ako hindi rin ako updated eh. So, babasahin din natin yan. Sabay-sabay natin babasahin yan. Uh, Alam ko lang, ano ang 4 gigs of RAM yung 10S tsaka 10S Max. <laughs> nagalit, nag, <laughs> nagalit ka nga doon sa 10 gig RAM, bro. Eh. <laughs> so, 4 gigs lang, grabe. Kailan, ito na tayo parang hindi siya, ewan ko, parang hindi yata siya worth it. X, X. Sa presyo. <laughs> ito, coverage wrap-up. Hindi, iPhone yan eh. Iba yung iPhone. Iba, ito, ito lang, ito lang, kasi iba, iba yung... Siyempre, yung apps and whatnot, iba yung, and then, iba yung interface ng iPhone. Iba talaga yung kailangan mong treatment. But, in terms of raw specs, mababa talaga specs ng iPhone. Di ba? Ganun talaga yun eh. Well, let's see. Ano bang uh, announcement? Ito, ang, ang gulo talaga ng... Ang dami, pagka ganito talagang iPhone, ang dami masyadong post, hindi yung parang... Kailangan ko lang ng summary, bro. <laughs> okay. Okay, basahin natin. The iPhone XX Max, XXX Max... Largest iPhone in history with an expansive, expansive 6.5 inch display daw. AMOLED. Oh, uh, Note 9. Note 9, 6.4 inch na nga. Oo oh, nga, 6.4 nga si Note 9. May mga, hindi, may mga telepono dati 7 inch bro. Di ba? Pero ano yung mostly tablet? Sean, Sean, what's up? Yeah, 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 tablet na yun. Oh, oh. Um, to be announced pala yung mga battery nila. Hindi pa, okay, that's why. Super Retina display maintains 400. Ito yung problem ko. Okay, so one one thing that admittedly hindi masyadong impressed sa iPhone is yung display resolution nila. Hindi naman ganun katindi. Mm-hmm. But uh, admittedly, mali... Umamit pa sila ng OLED. <laughs> yeah, OLED, diba? OLED. Malinaw naman. Hindi, admittedly, magaling mamili ng display si si Apple. Diba? 
Uh, Kuya Gian, si ang guest po natin is si uh, the one and only, ang ating uh, number one poster of news sa BTS community, si Sir Adrian no. D-Max. Yan. May mga bago kasing dumadating sa stream, baka hindi nila nakikita. Um, ang, ating, <laughs> ang, ang, ang actual common joke dito, I don't know, I hope hindi ka na offend Kuya Adrian, no? uh, is, uh, ang joke namin is, mahal na mahal mo si iPhone, kaya lagi mo siyang... Uh, Lagi mo siyang inaaway. Ang dami mong pinopo sa community na puro anti-iPhone. Sabi ni Jun Ching, the D-Max show. Yan talaga, D-Max show tayo ngayon, Goyans. D-Max show. Grabe, tindi naman. Hindi, marami kang ano, marami kang fans dito sa community, bro. Um, so, yun. <laughs> D-Max. Mr. D-Max in the flesh. Yan ang sabi sa'yo, pare. Hindi. Sa YouTube yan, ha. Sinasabi ko sa'yo, may mga fans ka talaga, bro. Um, <laughs> salamat sa mga, salamat sa mga nagpansak. Hindi, pero ako, masasabi ko lang, ha, ano, honestly, ha, na-appreciate ko, bro, na madalas ka nagpo-post sa, sa community. Hmm. O, kasi ako, hindi... Napa- Ito naman kasi enjoy mag-post kasi may napag-uusapan. Yes, yun. yes. And alam, hmm. ang, ang na-appreciate ko din na hindi, mo na, hindi ka naman nakikipag <laughs> <laughs> oh, peace lang tayo. Please. Oh, yun, exactly. Hindi, hindi, hindi. Yun, ang, yun, ang, uh, yun din ang point ko sa sa, sa BTS community. Yung parang ma- maayos na discussion sana. Maayos na discussion, di ba? Kasi sa... Uh, Lali yung ko na kay. Yung leak ko sa Isus. <laughs> Loko ka kasi, bro. Hindi, <laughs> pero... Yun, <laughs> yeah, yeah, matindi yun. Uh, hindi, yung, yung masasabi ko lang, no? Kasi nanggaling na, na experience ko na sa ibang mga Facebook groups ng mga phones. Uh, medyo... Ano eh, uh, mainit ang uh, usapan, mainit ang ulo ng mga tao sa ibang groups. Yun ang ayaw ko doon. Oo, yung mga nakakapikula na. Yes, yes. Yun tsaka talagang naapektuhan agad kahit na hindi mo naman siya pinapatamaan or what not. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, Parang fan na fans nila talaga ng brand na Yes, well ano yun, yun sabi nga. Yung mga binabayaran. flame wars nga yun, mga fanboy flame wars. Yun yung traditional na tawag dyan. Pero hindi lang talaga masyado naiintindihan ng tao na... Masyado na silang effect, affected, di ba? Napaka-normal discussion lang, usapan lang, affected agad sila. Binayaran sila. <laughs> <laughs> sa YouTube, sabi ni Sean Shani, celebrity ka dito sa BTS community. Oh, di ba? Sabi siya, pare. Celebrity, celebrity ka dito sa BTS community, sabi ni Sean Shani. Hindi ko ini-invento yan. Pum- nasa YouTube comment yan. Uh, Jun Ching says, si Kuya D-Max, uh, sure na nag-preorder na siya ng iPhone XX Max. <laughs> wala pa nga sa wala pa nga sa Pilipinas nag-preorder ka wala na daw bro wala pa sa Philippines hindi pa nag-a-announce yung globe hindi <laughs> <laughs> ko nga alam kung ibibigyan ako kidney ba ano ba wait wait so okay may iba tayo I just want medyo cute, ano lang uh, ma, 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 ma ano gusto ko lang malaman ano yung gamit mong phone ngayon bro Um, nakakaya mong sabihin. Hindi naman nakakaya ba? Ano, ano yung Cherry Mobile? <laughs> Pero, cloud phone lang po. Ito ah, cloud ito. phone. Anong model ng cloud? Excite. Excite? Excite Prime 2. 2 siya, 2. Excite anong, Prime 2. Kailan nilabas yan? Mm, last year pa siya, 2017. Ay, Mediatek uh, Octa? Ano siya? Ko- Ay, wait lang, may ads pa. <laughs> Ayan, quad core kasi ito eh. Ah, talaga? Ay, Pero at least malaki-laki na yung Mediatek. display. Pwede na rin. Hmm, 5.5. Pwede na rin. Okay na yan. Medyo iwan na nga eh. Iwan na yung software. Nugat na eh. <laughs> Nugat? Okay pa rin. Kaya pa rin yan. Oo. Oh. Ma- Baga, wala. Hindi yung... Ang tawag ko dyan is, pwede ka na mag-upgrade pero depende pa rin kung may pera ka wala, di ba? Pero, pero pwede na yan. Uh, malapit-lapit na. Huwag na. Hindi ko naman si... Ano, pag na-graduate na. <laughs> graduate? Ah, okay, okay. Well, uh, sige, sige, sige. sige. <clears throat> uh, Ayun, kuya, anong cellphone nyo, kuya? Personal phone? Uh, HTC 10. HTC 10. Yun ang paborito ah, ko. Okay. Yan ang number one sa akin. Uh, pa- Sayang sila nung sila gano'ng naglalabas ng <laughs> mga phone. <laughs> Pumalpak sila. <laughs> Hindi, marami dala silang pumapalpak recently actually. Yung HTC 10 is considered to be the last HTC na maayos. <laughs> No, Which is two years, yung, two years ago eh, 2016. Yung pataas na nun, wala na eh. Yes, palpak na. Yung durability ni. Palpak na, palpak na. Eh, HTC naman. Binili ko to ng uh, early last year ata. For 18... Doli pak pa yata software niya. Oh, for 18,000 pesos. So, sulit na ako dito. Sulit na sulit. Oh. I love this phone. Uh, pero, hindi ko ma... May, unang-una, hindi ko masyadong... Wala wala kasi sa wala kasi sa Pilipinas ito eh gray market ito eh, imported ito eh. Wala naman. Uh, tapos uh, ano naman? Hindi pa 
Oh my god, may NDMRC MMC na naman na ano na alarm. Warning. <laughs> Warning buto sa akin wala. Si Ompo ngayon nakalabas na ng PAR. Yes. Ang lakas naman niya. Ang lakas ng warning. Alam mo kung bakit? This is my Motorola, bro. <laughs> G6 plus or No, 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 no. Old school to, bro. This is my uh, my favorite. One of my favorite phones talaga to. This is the Moto X Moto X second oh, gen. Moto X. Ibabalik na daw yun, eh, di ba? Ewan ko, hindi na ako naniniwala sa Motorola pa. <laughs> Kasi under na nila nyo ako eh. Dinaloko na tayo. Si Lino, si, hindi, actually, ano, para sa akin. A- alam mo, feeling ko, wala nang, pa- wala nang pag-asa si Motorola. Pero feeling ko, ano na, pa- padeds na siya. Alam ko, medyo fan ka ni Motorola, kaya, sadly. Sakto lang. Sakto lang naman. Kasi, hindi. Mas magaling pa rin sa Nokia. <laughs> si, si ano mo, yung pangalan mo sa, sa group natin, sa group uh, messenger natin. Ano? Nokia Moto? <laughs> <laughs> Nokia Moto. <laughs> eh, parang, ano yun, na lang yata kung uh, si Lenovo kaya, ano yun. Hindi, pero... Si Lenovo, hindi na naglalabas ng cellphones. Hindi, pero... Smart. Bro, parang pareho tayo, di ba? Sabi ko sa'yo, meron ako Lumia 1020, may, may Nokia N8 pa ako, yung old school na... Ano pa, yung wala pang touchscreen no, Nokia N8 pa eh. Uh, so, fans ako, fan ako, pati itong Motorola, number, fan ako ng Motorola. Yun nga lang, medyo... Mm-hmm. Ako, meron pa ako ito. Nokia 3110. <laughs> Ang tagal na nito. Low bat lang. Yun. Okay. Uh, Airboy pa. Ay, yung N8 ko, ano, bloated na yung baterya. Pero favorito ko yun, N8 ko. Ang daming mga ate, nakuha na ko ng picture. <laughs> <laughs> ito, may isa pa ako Nokia. Nakalimutan ko na ako ng model. Yung? Pero yan. Ginagamit mo pa yan? Ito. Kasi medyo hirap nang gumamit ng mga, ano, mga button-button. Ano long? Pang basic po lang, yeah, lang yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sabi ni Sean, Sean, ni tama ka kuya tungkol sa Apple, mahirap ipikumpara sa Android kahit apps karamihan paid. Well, yes, and also, yung, optimiza- mm, yung optimization kasi ng software ni Apple iba. So, hindi mo pwedeng... Oo. Kaya pag nakikita mo yung mga speed test, speed test, alam ko nagpo-post kasi ka kuya Adrian ng mga speed test, speed test. Mabilis eh, ano, mabilis si Apple kasi nga, yung optimization ng user interface nila, sobrang malinis. Smooth talaga. Oo, oo. Tsaka hindi sila gumagamit ng Java or some... Yes, yes. Ma- ano talaga, specialized yung software nila. Na, ano, kasi si Android, medyo kung ano-anong pinagsama-sama nila yan, actually. May Dalvik, may ano Java, may whatever. Di ba? Anong tawag doon? May kinuha silang software si Google eh, about doon eh. Yes, yes, yes. Linux ba yun? Linux? Ayun, Linux. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Dalvik yun. Dalvik, Linux. Linux oh, medyo ma, ma... Ano. But anyway, uh, yun yung ano doon. Eh, ano ba? Nasaan na ba tayo? Uh, <laughs> mabilis talaga. Yun, yun, yung, yun naman yung sa Apple talaga. Kaya yung 4 gigs RAM, okay lang. But when it Pero comes to... Pero sa management, doon natin makikita. Eh, okay lang. I, I, I think sa totoo lang, si Apple, they could actually add like 6 gigs, 8 gigs. Pero alam mo naman si Apple, medyo... Ang gusto talaga nila is medyo, ano ba, medyo profit-profit, di ba? Medyo mapera-pera yung habol nila. So, um... May, Trillion dollar company. Kahit, kahit naman si si Steve Jobs nun, si Steve Jobs is is uh, marketing, hindi naman marketing, more of a, ano talaga siya, they, he wanted to create ecosystems na very locked para kailangan bumili ka ng, ng ng Apple product, ng Apple accessories, ng Apple whatever. Gusto niya talaga. Oh, so, kung tutusin, yung trabaho, yung ginagawa ni Steve Jobs is for profit talaga. Hindi yung parang, kung, kung si Steve Jobs is napaka, napaka, ano, yung parang enthusiast or gusto niya yung ma-afford ng lahat. Hindi gagawin ni, ni Steve Jobs na mamahalin yung iPad, hindi mamahalin yung ano, ba? Kahit yung iPad doon na mahal kumpara sa mga ibang MP3 players, ba? Pero mabenta pa rin yung iPad and that's why nagkaroon tayo ng iPhone because yumaman sa iPad si ano si si Apple. <laughs> Pero kung hindi dahil kay Bill Gates, hindi babalik sa business si Apple. 'Di ba? Yes, yes, yes. Nung time na sobrang hirap si Apple. Sobrang it, it, this was a long time ago though. This was the, during the the Apple Apple Mac 2 era and oh, so Nung, there was a time when super bagsak si Apple. Kasi, okay. <laughs> very, medyo malo, malo, mahabang story ito. Nawala masyadong kinalaman sa phones kasi malayo yung phones from this timeline. Uh, natanggal si Steve Jobs from Apple. Nagsimulang mag, malugi si Apple. 
Partly also because may mga ginawa si Steve Jobs noong time na yun na hindi masyado mabenta. But, mm-hmm. nalulugi na si Apple and they were still selling old Apple computers, yung Apple II nila. Yung ano, yung walang fan yata na computer eh, Sig- ng Apple. Siguro, hindi naman masyado kailangan ng fan nung time na yun. Hindi pa masyadong ganun kabigat yung mga computer nun eh. Um, mm-hmm. Nangyari na almost malugi na daw si Apple, kinuha ulit nila yung si Steve Jobs because they know Steve Jobs Ken is a very charismatic guy. So, binalik nila si Steve Jobs. Uh, nung pagbalik ni Steve Jobs, marami siyang ginawa. Tinangga, halo, marami siyang tinanggal ng mga projects. And then, nang simula siya nung uh, iMac, yung iMac niyang, yung kulay blue na mukhang parang laruan na candy, candy, candy na computer. Uh, and then, oh. simula doon yun. Nagsimula siya ng, yung, uh, doon sa iMac, and then uh, uh, iPhone, iPod. This from iPad, alam na natin. We know the history now after that. <clears throat> Sabi ni Jun Ching, wow, Moto Doge, yes. So, kung hindi, hindi mo alam, Kuya Adrian, this is yung Motorola ko na Moto X 2nd Gen. This is, ang tawag ko dito, Moto Doge. Because, yan. Moto Doge. Uh, yung keyword kasi niya, so may keyword si Motorola. Eh. And when I say, hey, Moto Doge, magki-keyword siya. So, Aba, may voice activation nice. siya. Meron pa pala niya. No, ay, kaya paborito ko itong telepono na ito eh. Hindi ko mabitawan eh. Yung motor razor nga ito, ibabalik nga ito ulit ngayon. Ewan ko. Di- Ayaw ko lang this year ko or next year pa. <laughs> hindi, na ako, hindi ako nininiwala kay Lenovo. Diyos ko, puro maka sinungaling na yung trabador ng Lenovo, bro. Kaya nga, yung dating cellphone ba yun? Z5 Z5? Yata, eh. Sinunga. Hindi, mm. ano talaga? Nagahanap na lang talaga si Lenovo ng mga meme. Nagpapa ma- nag-aanap sila ng mga memes para pwede silang sumikat. Ang problema kasi walang maayos yung mga Z3, Z4, Z5 nila. Wala namang magaganda eh. So, yeah, eh parang, parang, parang si Motorola, uh, wala sila yung G4, G4, whatever nila. Hindi naman din sumikat because walang compelling, hindi compelling yung specs eh. <laughs> Pero may chance yung ano nila ngayon, Motorola One tsaka One Power. Eh! One Power ba? Ang mahal eh! Kasi Android pa. Ah, ano ba? May presyo na ba? Hindi pa mahasa nasa 20 mil ata, tapos 636 lang or something. Paano may lalaban oh, sa Poco oh. phone yung ganun? Wala, di kaya. Di ba? Di kaya. Pang mid-range yung specs eh, dapat mid-range din yung presyo. Mahal eh. <laughs> Hindi nila, yung paga, itong, nung, nung nilabas itong Moto X 2nd Gen na to, tuwan-tuwa ako sa price nito, sabi ko flagship phone to, tapos nasa ano lang. Yung mga tipong Cherry Mobile no, nasa 8,000, tapos ito, nasa 15 lang. <laughs> tapos, number one brand, Motorola, ang ganda ng specs, gawa sa bakal. Ang ganda nung ano, may Moto Doge pa na ano. Tapos sabi ko, ang ganda-ganda nito, marami lang hindi nagustuhan nito. But para sa akin, this, this is one of their... Alam mo kung bakit? Si Google pa yung gumawa nito eh. Nung pa, di ba nung before binili ni Lenovo, ah, okay. before ni, binili ni Lenovo si Motorola, They were si developing din. phones ni si Google yung may-ari and then din develop nila yung phones. Mm-hmm. This was the last phone that Google developed with Motorola. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, mukhang marami tayong pag-uusapan but uh, I don't want to ma, hindi tayo ayaw kong masyadong ma uh, ano ba? Dami na nating mga tangent tangent. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> okay lang po, okay lang. Uh, let's see here. Sunshine says, nung nabili ng Lenovo si Motorola, wala na ATQ. Hindi ko alam kung ano yung ibig sabihin yung ATQ. Farmer Sanchez says, kailangan makipag sa bayan or at least babaan ng price si Motorola. There you go. Um, yes, kailangan talaga. Mark Rogers says, actually same rin ata Linux din si Apple. Well, yes, they're all based in, in some sort of x86. Hindi, hindi pala x86. Anyway. Um, May marami siyang kasabayan yung Oppo. ano Vivo Yeah eh, eh, iba naman yung iba naman yung iba naman yung comment ko sa Oppo Vivo pero alam mo ngayon yung medyo nawawala sa uso si Oppo Vivo eh yung mga selfie phones nawawala sa uso eh di ba Ang nagkaka mm. nauuso ngayon is performance eh price performance eh Kasi now mm. imbis na selfie yung pinagkakaguluhan ng tao ngayon eh, PUBG Mobile mostly di ba Yung pinaka mm-hmm. Wala na hindi na uso selfie ngayon bro di ba Wala na Sila, Oppo, Vivo, more on camera focus pa rin Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so... Nakaka-umay na. Oo, oh, kasi feeling ko na, na, na-gets na ng tao na hindi naman ganun ka... <laughs> ka-demanding sa camera, hindi ganun ka-importante. Alright, so... Basta may OIS. Ha? Ano na? Basta may OIS, okay. Wala nga OIS eh. Sino ba may OIS ngayon? Ha? Sino? Mostly flagship lang. Flagship lang? Oo. Oh. 
All right, so let's get back on to our new segment, no? So, iPhone XS Max. So, uh, uh, okay. So here's the number one thing na na, na bago sa iPhones, no? They're using a new or A7 or something something Bionz, A10 Bionz chip or something like that. Na hindi ata, hindi ata tama yung Bionz chip ata so, Sony ata yun. Eh. Bionic chip. Bio, ata. Bionic something niya, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bionic. Uh, <laughs> parang parang 90s na sitcom, Bionic man. Basta may bago silang processor and this is ang sabi ni uh, Apple is they're the first the first ever 7 nanometer processor. Oh, yun ang malaki. Yun ang malaking bagay. Malaking advantage naman talaga. Yeah. Kaya siguro nag-overprice. <laughs> eh, pareho din. Pareho pa rin yung price, pare. Hindi naman, ano, hindi naman lumampas. Hindi, nasa 1,100, di ba? Yung XS Max. $1,100. Yung, yung two, ano yun? 256 ba yun? Or 512 gig ba yun? Well, of Parang course. Parang overpriced, no? Eh, ganun talaga yun. Uh, Sabagay. Ang inaano ko lang talaga, yung essentially, yung base price lang talaga. Kasi ma- mahirap nung mag... Ang dami kasing basurang mga kalokohan ng mga version-version ng storage-storage. Nakakasakit ng ulo. <laughs> uh, GF uh, Miley says 812 Bionic. There you go, 812 Bionic. Sabi ni Jake Octavio, pinapatay ng Vivo at Oppo si Cherry. Uh, maybe, yeah, actually. Medyo-medyo. Pero sa tingin ko, si Xiaomi yung pumapatay na lahat. <laughs> <laughs> ano pinapatay ni ano ni Bibo yung Bibo at Oppo si Cherry Mobile <laughs> yun ang sabi ni uh, Jiko Octavio di din <laughs> galit kasi <laughs> parang di, galit yung din, ko hindi rin mo kasi second second place pa rin sila sa Philippines mm-hmm. eh. tapos first place Samsung ah, ano naman Kaya, uh, admittedly naman malakas pa rin si Cherry especially sa mga prob- probinsya talaga um, mm, malakas mm-hmm. Uh, so kahit hindi sila nadadala. <laughs> oh my. Eh. Eh, kasi sa so totoo lang, Xiaomi is tayo tayo lang nakakaalam niyan. So probinsya pagka hindi ka updated, walang wala nakakaalam ng Xiaomi. So, mm. 'yun ang ano, 'yun ang issue. Ang lisod lang talaga siya. Oo. Oh. Uh, <laughs> wala pa sa Visayas, 'di ba? Pwede ka naman maglasada, pare. <laughs> pwede rin naman. Ah, uh, hindi. Kasi eh, ano, wala siya masyadong ads kasi kaya hindi makikilala mo siya. Yes, walang ads. Wala, walang walang uncourteous, walang uh, mm, uh, no. commercial. Kasi sa Pilipinas, medyo malaki pa rin bagay yung ganun. Yung mga may ads ka sa tele, sa TV, nakikita ka nagpo-promote ng shampoo sa Itbulaga, shampoo sa Itbulaga or mm-hmm. something. Malaking bagay yun kasi marami sa mga consumers natin, hindi mas yung buhay nila minsan, walang internet, buhay nila pupunta sa tindahan, magbebenta ng whatever. Let's say, ano, nagbebenta sa palengke or ano. Masaya yung trabaho mo minsan, hindi sila babad sa internet, di ba? TV radio lang. Oo. May, may mga tao naman na nakakapag-internet pero hindi babad. So, kung hindi ka babad sa internet, medyo hindi ka masyad, hindi ka masyado makakarinig ng Xiaomi, Xiaomi, Xiaomi. Di ba? Tingnan mo yung Oppo, grabe sa advertising. Sobra. Pati si, pati si Vivo, di ba? Yes. Mm. Oo. Uh, Ads pa lang. Kaya naman, mabe- kaya naman mabenta sila, di ba? Kaya naman mabenta sila. Mm. So, may may point may point din yung advertising dito sa Pilipinas in, sir, in certain way. Ako naman, para sa akin, sa, as, as somebody who wants to pro- improve yung, yung ka- kaalaman ng Pilipino sa mga gadgets-gadgets, gusto ko, katulad nito, nag-storm, naggagawa ko ng mga groups na ganito or mga ganyan para yung kahit sino mag-join and then ma-update ka. For example, itong BTS. Manood ka lang ng BTS kahit pa paano ma-update ka kahit pa every week lang. Parang gano'n, di ba? So, yun, yun ang ano ko. Hindi, uh, that's that's my way of spreading na yung information about Xiaomi, for example. Gano'n. Anyway. Para maging aware na rin sila. Yes, yes, yes. Hmm. Hindi para ko... maging practical, matikid. Yes. Oh. Kasi mura yung phone nila. Yes, you know. So, <laughs> grabe kasi, grabe, puma- grabe si Xiaomi, hindi halos wala. Kahit nung last year, last year si sa nung mga awards puro wala yung ano, paborito ko noon yung Mi A1 ata last year eh. <laughs> Pag- yung Mi Mi yes. A1, talaga. Mm. Anyway, uh, so yun, like I said, pabor- uh, ang ganda ng pwesto ng Xiaomi ngayon. Hopefully, merong, hopefully magkaroon ng iba pang Xiaomi. 
para dalawa na sila. Para may choice naman tayo, di ba? Pero na, at this point, para tayong Xiaomi fanboys on the thing because napakaganda ng offerings nila. Um, and then yung Poco phone yung talaga. Xiaomi Mi A2, ano eh, wala ng headphone jack. Yun lang yung bad trip dun sa Mi A2. <laughs> Nakakasakit Ay, lang. Ganda. Yeah, yun ang problema sa Mi, Mi A2. Uh, Roger Distro Jr. says, uh, Cherry, mga lolo't lola, middle-aged people, kadalasan kumukuha. Yeah, yung mga medyo, yun na nga. Kasi si Cherry may mga advertisement din eh. Alright, so GF Mayri says, The celebrity endorsers of local phones use an iPhone in real life. Hindi, yeah, ganun. Kahit yung mga yung celebrity endorsers sa ibang bansa, pari. Ganun talaga. Every, kasi, ano pa rin eh. Um... I guess for the most part madali pa rin gumamit ng iPhone eh. So kasi kung ikaw ba naman, for example, mga nakikita ko yan, for madalas ako na ang ang pinakamadalas ko nakikita ang mga celebrity endorser, yung mga mga magalona. Mga uh, mga Maxine Magalona, ganyan. At uh, saka sino yung kalbo? Eh, hindi magalona na kalbo, ah. basta madalas yung ano, basta Madalas mo sila makikita sa mga LG, mga Samsung. Pucha, pupunta sila. Oh, I really love my Samsung phone. It takes so many photos. And then, sigurado lang, mag nag, pag tinignan mo yung mga post sa Instagram, posted from iPhone. Mga ganun, di ba? So, <laughs> wala lang. Ano talaga yan? Gawain talaga ng celebrity endorsers yan. Hindi mo mawawala sa celebrity endorser yan. Uh, mm-hmm. Ano lang talaga? Yun lang talaga. Laro, laro talaga yan. Eh. Laro, yung parang... Uh, strategy. Kasi, for example, sino ba yung mga Lisa Soberano? Yung mga tipong, ano, sasabihin nila, I love my uh, iPhone, ano, Samsung JS something, something plus. Pucha, sigurado ka ba, Lisa Soberano, bibili ng putang inang 20,000 peso phone? Ha? Milyones yung, milyon, milyones yung, yung talent fee, tapos bibili, naka ano lang, naka JS, naka pang, pang, ano, pang entry level na telepono. Imposible, di ba, pare? <laughs> Posible yun. Kasi yung Oppo, sila Julia Montes ba yun? Hindi, Oppo, di ba? Hindi ko alam, hindi na ako updated. Mara, ko na, hindi ako sumusunod sa mga ganyan. Eh. <laughs> <coughs> Tapos yung sa Vivo, yung, ano, yung basketball player. Si Steph, yun? si Steph Curry yan. Oh. Steph Curry. My 20 meg, 24 meg pulse of selfies. <coughs> <coughs> Sabi ni Winstech, saka sakto pa sa paglabas ni Poco. Ha, nawala na sa limelight. Si A2, unlike the A1. Yeah, that's true. Pero I think hindi talaga... Ewan ko, hindi, hindi, hindi talaga... Tsaka mahal ni A2, 15,000? Si Pero mas okay pa yung si A1, A2 light. Oh, ayoko lang nung notch. <laughs> ayoko nung <ng> notch. <laughs> hindi ko kaya. Ayoko na. Quit na ako sa mga notch-notch. Uh, hindi, okay. So, eh, long story short. Okay ako sa notch if the software can handle the issues yes. that regards yung yung kasi right now i'm using yung mga nagre-review ako ng mga notch phone diba ang problem ko the the sa mga phones sa may notch ang daming cheche bureche when it comes to expanding yung app and then yung app minsan nagla hindi minsan either either naka yung something information sa app dahil kasi may notch doon or uh, uh, yung pinapanood ko putol or yung parang ang daming problema if hindi pa nila exactly that's what i'm talking about paano kung let's say may notch nga yung telepono pero lahat ng content swak di ba lahat ng apps swak walang 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 kasi for example like facebook messenger ako putol yung something something is online putol oh di ba <laughs> Lang. So, naka, nakakainis. nakakainis, pare. So, mm-hmm. every time bumabalik ako sa original phones ko, yung mga 16x9 display, lahat pasok. So, mm-hmm. I like a phone, kung wala kung yung may notch man siya, walang hassle dapat yung software. Kung may hassle yung software, ayoko. Diba? I need... Kahit may hiding ba yung ano niya? Yung, di ba sa settings na hide yung oh, software? Pero hassle yun? pa rin yun. <laughs> Kasama sa hassle. Kaya nakita yung notch. Kasi, hindi, uh, yung hiding naman kasi, di ba, gagawin black lang yon Alam mo yung problema sa, okay, so, napaka, napaka complex nitong pag-uusapan natin. Hopefully, magets nyo. Yung, yung phone na may notch, na pwede mong i-hide, usually, nilalagyan ng black bar sa taas, di ba? Uh-huh. Oo. So, generally, ang problem ko dun is, pag nanood ka ng YouTube video, yung black bar is straight, yung putol, 
Tapos yung kanan, bilog. Bilog yung putong sa corner. Ang, ang pangit tignan! Pangit, di bagay. O, yung... <laughs> yung Parang di pantay yung panunod. Hindi talaga pantay, nakakasara po. <laughs> hindi, I don't like in, ayaw ko nun. Ayaw ko ng hassle. Gusto ko manood ng video. Hindi putol yung content ko na as in yung kahit yung corner nung, nung mga pinapanood ko. Walang, walang rounding. Mm-hmm. Yun pa yung isang problema. Pag mo naman yun, wala. Wala din. Yung isa, yun pa yung isang problema with rounding ng mga corners eh. Yung may mga telepono mm-hmm. na mas malalim yung rounding, yung, yung cut na corner. So, mas marami nawawala dun sa display mo. Actually, isa sa, kasala, isa sa mga sala ni Pocophone yan eh. May, yung rounding ng Pocophone is malaki-laki kumpara sa iba. Actually. Panood ka na, yes. pag pinanood mo yung video ni Marcus Brownlee, makita mo yung cornering ni, ni Pocophone, medyo mataba. Diba? Malaki yung curve. Oo. Mm-hmm. Pero of course, uh, pina, pinapagbigyan natin yun because 16,000, 17,000 lang si Pocophone, di ba? So, malaking, malaking, uh, ano yun, malaking, uh, gusto mo putulin mo ng kalahati yung display, okay lang, basta 16,000 pesos yung, ano mo, yung 845 mo. <laughs> uh, let's see, uh, sabi ni Roger Distro Jr., uh, ang dami na kasi masyadong mid-range phone si Xiaomi, siya na mismo pumapatay sa ibang models niya. Well, totoo rin yun. Uh, Roger Distro also says much better ang OLED ni in hiding notches kasi itim na itim siya. That's true. Actually. And also, uh, so another medyo napapalalim yung discussion natin actually. Kahit na hindi iPhone ang discussion. Uh, I don't know kung aware ka dito Kuya Adrian. No? Uh, sa, sa AMOLED display is hindi mo kaya in, in, in non-AMOLED displays na lang pala all non amoled displays will need a small bezel for the this, for the light ng LED uh, usually may LED siya sa dulo para yung LED mm. siya is nag yun yung backlight ng display so mm. walang walang display na hindi amoled na wala nung maliit na bezel right Mm-mm. so that's the problem with phones like this ayoko na sana mag magpanira but for example something like this yeah, this is the Oppo F9. Yeah, ano? Oppo F9. Merong yeah. bezel sa ilalim, napansin mo? May ano dito yes, sa ilalim eh. Yes. That is where the LED lights ng backlight display. Right? So, mm-hmm. to, to be truly bezel-less, to be truly bezel-less, it is, has to be AMOLED. To be mm-hmm. truly na parang kaya niyang putulin itong yung, yung chin ng telepono, kailangan AMOLED. So, that's another thing about AMOLED. Kaya lang, hindi, hindi naman tayo lahat nakaka-afford ng AMOLED. So, <laughs> ganun talaga. Yes, mahal. Mahal ang AMOLED. Yes, mahal. Samsung pa lang. <laughs> Samsung pa lang. Ang <laughs> mahal ng AMOLED. <laughs> Pero maganda talaga. Maganda yes, yes. Pa, oh my God. Pag nakita mo yung Galaxy Note uh, 9, holy crap. Yes. Ganda. Jesus Christ. Ay, yung ako na tokso bumili nun. Jesus, ang ganda ng AMOLED. Wala ka talaga nakikita. Itim na itim ang po siya. Grabe. Uh, ang deep black deep. Yes. Deep deep yes. Kahit uh, nasa iba, ilalim ka ng araw. Uh, ganda nung ano niya. Uh, 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 sabi ni Mark Roger, siya may nag-TV na rin. Mga action cam at yung scooter. Yeah, marami silang mga... Kasi marami ding, marami ding partner brands ka siya may. So marami siyang mga... Yung mga partner brands nila, marami ding... Pro- products na technology te- technological pero hindi lahat telepono. So si Xiaomi kasama, mga kas- partner products niya yan. Scooter skate, ano rice yun? Cooker. Rice cooker exactly, exactly you know? <laughs> uh, may TV pa, may laptop Kucha, yung ano ko eh, ano ba yan? Yung meron akong uh, weighing scale dito na Xiaomi May need both na nga Yes, yes, yes uh, sabi ni Patrick Ibora, bili na lang ako ng Samsung Galaxy Note 9 Snapdragon 845. Meron ako alam kung saan nagbebenta. Wow. Magkano? <laughs> Magkano ka? Uh, RJ Villamer says, Honor Play na lang pasok na pasok sa banga. What do you mean pasok na pasok sa banga? Hindi ko na-get sa... Ano pa pag-usapan natin kanina sa banga? Uh, Sean Shani Walang says... Walang physical store nun. Ano no? no? Walang physical store ng Honor Play, no? Wala, pero meron silang listahan ng stores na sa PC Express sila nagpartner eh. Uh, mm-hmm. nagbigay, sila ng, okay, okay. nagbigay sila ng list meron of stores. Oh. Um, meron naman sila until Visayas. I think mga four stores, limang stores ata sa Visayas or Mindanao. Uh, pinost ko yung, pinost ko yung, inform- yung listahan ng nung, nung stores nila sa, sa, sa YouTube ko and dun sa ano. Anyway, uh, so... Hmm. Sinagtanong ako dati sa hmm. ano, 
sa Huawei store. Oh. Then sabi nila, hindi na daw nila. Wala ang gain din. Tumiwalag na. Hindi na sila <laughs> nagkikerry ng honor. Iba talaga. So, okay. ano talaga? Ganyan, Ganyan pala talaga. Ganun talaga mag, uh, uh, mag-separate mga brands. Is, kasi, okay. Ano yan eh? Medyo madrama yan eh. Madrama sa branding yan eh. Um, in, ad, in, in other, in another example, for example, si... Si Toyota, may sub-brand yan. Pangalan Lexus. Yes, Lexus. Oo. Pero walang... Pag pumunta ka sa Lexus, they will never mention Toyota. Or Toyota mm. will never mention Lexus. Because, uh, iba yung clientele na tina, tinatarget ni Lexus, di ba? Iba rin yung clientele. I'm a big fan of that, Toyota. Uh, <laughs> kasi, may, kasi may branding yan eh. Kasi pinag-usapan natin, Lamborghini at Sarau, di ba? So, what if yung Lexus na super... Kasi si Lexus may mga luxury cars na pagkaganda-ganda, di ba? Pero paano kung tinawag mo siyang Toyota Camry 2.0 XI something-something? Ang pangit pakinggan, di ba? Hindi na. Di ba? Oh, Pero kung Lexus, Lexus something-something, executive something-something, maganda pakinggan, di ba? So, Lexus <coughs> LS 500. Yes, yes. Yeah. So, um, same in the same way, Honor and Huawei are also separating. Because Honor is considered as medyo low-tier brand or medyo cheap brand or entry-level branding, whatever, di ba? Huawei naman is executive, premium, high-end, di ba? So, hindi pwedeng magsama. Ayaw nilang pagsamahin yan. Kaya naglala, naghihiwala yung dalawang brand. Hindi pwede, ayaw nila na ma-associate sila na parang pumunta ka sa Huawei store, meron ba kayong binibentang honor? Hindi, doon kayo sa mga square. Doon kayo sa tindahan, doon sa tiyanggay doon. <laughs> Joke lang. <laughs> hindi, pero gets mo naman, no? Gets mo yung reason in why ayaw nilang pagsamahin. Because nasisira yung branding ng Huawei pag sinama mo yung honor sa kanila. Diba? Hmm. Si Honor naman, oh. naiiba rin yung pakiramdam mo. Kasi sasabihin mo, ay, di ba mamahalin yung Honor na yan? Pag, pag sinama mo si Huawei sa Honor, yung Honor na, yung mga gustong bumili ng Honor, titiisipin, ay, di ba mamahalin yan? Di ba kas Huawei yan? Yun yung, di ba? Hmm. Tapos yung mga bibili naman ng Huawei, pag nakita nila kasama nila yung Honor, sabihin naman ni, sasabihin naman nila, hindi ba pang mumurahin lang yung Honor na yan? <laughs> Tapos sasabihin, si, sigurado lang sasabihin, Di ba mura lang yan? Baka sirain. Di ba? Kung ganun yung mga comment, di ba? <laughs> Sira agad ang ilo. Di ba? Ala, yun yung unang tanong eh, di ba? Pagka mura yung ano, uh, sirain ba yan? Madali bang malobat? Yun yung mga comment eh. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Roger Distro says, I thought Honor Branding was really intended for the online market. Yeah, may ganun din eh. I think online din dapat yung target ni Honor, pero baka nag-offline na sila, di ba? Uh, JR Grate says, Hello po, Kuya. Hello din, Kuya JR. Hello. Uh, let's see. Ano pong mga YouTube comments natin? Kala ko Halloween na. Bakit? <laughs> May paniki. May paniki. May paniki. <laughs> uh, gusto ko sa Xiaomi yung Mi Bedside Lamp at Huawei Mi Watch 2 yata yun. Mi, Mi Band 2 siguro. Mi, Mi Band 2 ako. Na, nasa ko ba? tinanggal ko. Uh, Sir Alex, yung iPhone XR, walang chin pero LCD lang. So, you don't have to be OLED to be chinless. Yeah. Uh, sabi ni Tutong Channel. Ba, tama ka dyan. Uh, ang, expe- ang iniisip ko, baka dinaya nila yung, yung display, yung, yung backlight ng uh, iPhone XR. Uh, it could be na yung backlight niya hindi sa edge. Baka, ano talaga, nasa likod talaga ng LCD, di ba? Pwede rin yun eh. Dinaya nila na parang... Oh, so... Eh, Ano yan eh? Uh, you have to put the LED somewhere or the display, the brightness, the LED with the white LED light somewhere. Normally, it's placed at the bottom or somewhere sa edge ng display. But you can also put, you know, lights at behind the actual display. So, it's possible. Hindi ko alam ko ano ginawa ni Apple, but uh, it's possible naman. But for the most part, pretty much most LCDs, kailangan ng, ng yung LED strips sa side. Uh, Mark Rogers says, pasok na pasok sa banga expression ata ni Leon. Ah, ganun ba? Um, Roger says, Mark Rogers says, pero weird pa rin dati naman si Nokia may low-end devices at mid at upper tier. Meron naman si Nokia ngayon, I guess. Kyle Onate says, yun ba tawag, tina- yun ba yung tinawag nila na liquid retina yung sa XR? Oh, ngayon, puro mga branding si, si iPhone. Okay, balik tayo sa iPhone sandali, no? Uh, actually, hindi ako masyadong na-impress, eh. So, the number one thing na binago is yung 7 nanometer na bionic chip, di ba? Bi- Bions, what, bionic, di ba? Uh, basically, I think the main difference is 
the XR, uh, the XS na lang, mm. is yung chip. Yung chip lang yung nakita, natatandaan kung binago sa XS. Yun, oh, yun lang. Right? Tignan. Saka battery siguro. Baka battery hindi, din. Hindi, sabi mo nga, hindi nga in-announce eh. Uh, it, hindi, to be announced pa siya. <laughs> so, it builds on the hardware and features from last year without changing too much. So, physically, little has changed but they say true beauty is on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, well, uh, ako, honestly naniniwala naman ako mabig- na maganda yung bago nilang 7 nanometer chip. Pero para sa akin, maganda, maganda. you know, if you didn't improve the camera, if you didn't, you know, make the screen higher resolution, what not. Parang processor bump is importante pa bang lum- mas maganda yung processor mo in 2018? Like like ikaw, Kuya Adrian, you're using basically mm. hindi naman yes. masyadong malakas na processor, di ba? Mm-hmm. So I think napakaliit ng upgrade nitong XS. Even though hindi ako anti iPhone, I know medyo hindi you don't like iPhone so much. Ako medyo neutral ako. Pero this is a very small upgrade to an iPhone kung kung naka iPhone 10 ako, di ba? So mas maganda ako, ano hindi na talaga sila bumili ng iPhone 10. 10s kasi di ba ang mahal niya, 1000 yeah, something dollars. Di ba same, same price lang naman as last year pare. Oo. Oh, kunti lang i-upgrade eh. Yung, ano lang, 7 nanometer, 8 of my yes. chipset well, kung, kung Sayang lang. Yes. Sayang lang yung pera mo. Well, <laughs> okay pa ito XR at XS Max. Yes. Uh, so, uh, mm-hmm. ako naman, para sa akin, no, um, kung meron kang iPhone 10 and then yung binili mo yung iPhone 10 mo, same, $1,000, di ba? Uh, so, say, the, yung price ng XS is the same as technically last year as the $1,000 then. Um, so, it, it, technically did not increase in price too much or hindi siya ano compared to other phones like Xiaomi syempre malaki yung price niya diba? but we're talking about iPhone here the iPhones are always expensive you have to accept that fact diba? para sa ibang demographic yan sa mga mas maperang tao sa mga celebrity na nag endorse ng Samsung Galaxy J7 Plus or something so uh, given that mapera ka given that iPhone user ka Maliit pa rin na upgrade yung excess para sa akin. And it, for the for the new bionic sa akin, mali, uh, mali talaga. Bionic bionic chip. Med, medyo underwhelming. So yun lang masasabi ko sa excess. Um, I think we can move on naman. So XX XXX Max, putak ting pangalan niyan. Um XX Max na lang. Paano paano mo i-pronounce si XS na hindi parang XXX? XS nakabulol XX XS Max parang double XX. parang XX, XX lang yung sinasabi mo eh XX hmm XS Max XS, XS Max, Max. Oh. parang <laughs> ay nako ang daming uh, alam nung Apple sa pangalan Jake Octavio says kung pinagsama sila ng ano kung sina kung pinagsama sila ang dating wala ng owner si Huawei kung pinagsama sila ang dating wala ng owner si Huawei Hindi ko na-gets yun ah. <laughs> Di lahat ng naka-iPhone mayaman yung iba naka-home credit lang 12 months. <laughs> home credit? Loko! Samahan nyo mga kuya. <laughs> Makakuha lang ng iPhone mag-home credit. <laughs> oh. um, teka lang, nasa na ba ako sa YouTube comments? Medyo nawawala. Ang hirap talaga mag-keep uh, track minsan. Sorry guys. Um, Pag sunod-sunod din, may harap na nga Hey, Icy Hot! Good thing you found our Extras Channel stream um, Icy Hot uh, is our YouTube is a co- YouTube commenter from uh, Houston, Texas uh, She, she, no. uh, he, she God, I still don't know if it's a he or she um, Icy Hot, are you going to buy the new she, Icy Hot is a, uh, has always been an iPhone user uh, They mm. always updated with iPhones uh, nice. Are you inter- are, Which version of the iPhone are you gonna get, Icy Hot? XS or XX Max? XX Max? <laughs> XXX Max? <laughs> or uh, XXXXX Max? Uh, <laughs> hindi lang home credit yung Kung iba nakaglock. <laughs> Kung fan talaga siya nun, mag, ano na lang siya, 10S Max na lang siya. 
Yeah, 10x, 10s, 10x max is, seems okay. I, I guess most some people will not like the size. It's a little big, you know. 6.5, yeah, 6.5 inch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Nasa 18 by 9 ba yun yung screen yun? Uh, 19.5 is to 9 screen because they're using you know yung extended display you know. Uh, so the X XX Max. Let's let me find where the XX Max is. Uh, the XX Max is kind of like similar similar processor no. Seven twelve eight twelve Bionic. Same pro. Same lang naman sila lahat. Eh. Yeah, likely the dis- I mean the resolution is the same I think. No, I said XR LCD siya. Right, right, right. Hang on. I want to know if the display resolution is the same or inangat na. Uh, so the XS has a 2436 by 1125B. Oh, they changed the resolution. So the XS has 2436 by 1125 AMOLED. Mm-hmm. And then the XS Max has 2688 by 1242. Oh, OLED. Yes, OLED. Oh, but slightly more pixels. Uh, how many more? F- 120 something. 122 by 100. I can't do math anymore. 100 something. So they actually increased the resolution. That's crazy. I did not know they would do that. Um, this is actually nearly Quad HD. So XX yes. Max is so Quad HD is 2560 by 1440. The XX Max is 2688 by 1242. So it's kind of oh, like, yeah, quad HD but slightly taller, no? It's something like mm-hmm. that, no? That's very interesting. This is uh, a very good move by Apple. I did not know this. I thought it was the same resolution. It's a very good move by Apple because I think, you know, having a quad HD resolution is is very, very nice. I like a quad HD display, so no? Uh, big fan of Quad HD display. So um, it's also HDR10 as usual. You know, same as the uh, Apple uh, iPhone X or Apple iPhone 10. Wait, it's I forget. Okay, okay, wait. I know why I'm messing up. The reason why I'm messing up I, is I say X, not 10. That's my problem. I finally fa- figured it out. It's not XX Max. It's 10X Max. Oh my God. 10X Max. I'm stupid. <laughs> Nilaktawan nga nila yung iPhone 9. Wala nga. Yeah. Or 8S. 8S ba meron? Wala. Wala pa. 8S meron nga. Ta. I see. Um, Brickster John Lumabi says, Have you already discussed the neutral neural engine the Bionic processor has? This That will make a huge difference. I assure you that, says Brickster John. Wow. Confidence Brickster John. Well, new, no, neutral, new, neural engine is basically yung AI, AI, what's it called sa mga Android phones eh. So on the on the Android side, we have that neural engine in the way of uh, AI, uh, AI cores of our smartphones. Um, obviously, Apple being Apple, they would have very special software that will likely yes. be you know developed better and developed more intri- intricately, hand in hand with the hardware, di ba? Ganun yung ano si Apple eh. So they would have likely have very more much more better neural processing technology compared to Android because Android is very parang major shotgun approach to Android when it comes to developing that kind of features eh? mm-hmm. um, so yeah it it will likely be uh, uh, a huge difference quote unquote but also we're not as Android users uh, some of us are Android users with AI AI we can then have that functionality essentially or we already have that functionality essentially it's just that apple being apple they will have much more polished neural ai functionality once they develop it mm-hmm. um let's see here icy hot says i have the x right now i don't like big phones so what i'm getting is the new watch for sure <laughs> <laughs> That's a different yeah, answer yeah. than I thought it would. You would say I thought you were gonna get the XS <laughs> or the 10S. Sorry. Um, let's see here. Mark Roger I Desiderio says actually before, yeah. sa ganun hindi na makakat off yung mid range ng Huawei bar owner. Kyle Guerrero says collateral daw bahay pambili ng bago. Oh my god. <laughs> um, 
Let's see. Jake Octavio says, kung katrabaho ko, yung katrabaho ko merong iPhone 5S, medyo mayabang kasi na iPhone. Oh my God! Yung phone ko, <laughs> Samsung. Sabi. Wait, Samsung S7 yung phone mo, Jake? Mas maganda yung Samsung S7 siguro. Okay. Wait, what what generation is 5S? No, I think your S7 is newer. You're, you have way better or way newer phone. Pwede na yung Oreo yun, yung S7. I think so. But I, I like the S7. No? Waterproof na yun and all that. I think the S7 is yes. a very good uh, smartphone. Okay, so let's... Uh, our last uh, phone to discuss is the XR. Um, let's see here. XR. I know they, the XR is what? Plastic or something? Oh my god. Yung gilid, metal. The sec, uh, what you okay? Let's see. It's glass. Yung ano talaga niya pinakalikod. Okay, walang XR dun sa link ko. I'll just gotta click on another link to learn about this. Uh, yesterday, Apple announced new iPhones. Uh, okay, there are a number. There is of course the lower price, but also the fact that on the surface it doesn't seem as if you're losing out. Blah blah. blah. iPhone. Yeah, yeah, iPhone XR starts at seven hundred forty-nine dollars, which is what mga forty thousand pesos sa Pilipinas. 35,000. Yes. So, 35,000 to 40,000. Um, mm-hmm. Mahal pa din. <laughs> yeah, but it's, I mean, it's, it's a most... Compare mo sa OnePlus 6. It's still the most, it's still the, it's still an iPhone and it's the most affordable one you can get, diba? Okay, so this is, design is one of the key differences. Uh, XR uses aluminum, I see. So, in business stainless steel, they're using aluminum. Okay. Um... 6.1 inch. Both products use glass on the front and back. So okay, so is it just the the, the build? Ah, I see. So it's not as waterproof. IP67 lang siya. IP. What? So what's wrong? There's nothing wrong with this thing. Okay, so it XR uses lock-in. LCD. Okay, that's why. LCD siya. LCD. Yeah, okay. Right, not I remember this part of the live, the the Apple stream. Uh, hindi na pre yung dongle na ano. Ano ba? Yung yeah, headphone your headphone siya. dongle. Yeah. Uh, that's Dr. a that's a sad loss. Um, but I think I think Apple is really trying to push for Bluetooth headphones naman. And uh, in in most countries where Apple is prominent, for example, the United States and whatnot, uh, I think a lot of consumers have already sort of, you know, started getting more bluetooth headphones and whatnot so yeah, it's, the impact is lessened but of course there are still audiophiles out there that have you know awesome headphones that are wired and unfortunately they're not serviced by they're not served by you know the loss of the headphone jack and the loss of the dongle the headphone dongle mm-hmm. uh let's see here xr is yung parang 5c in generation ito yes kind of but also i think the x the xr is not as affordable as the x uh, the SE, no? Yung SE was like 25,000 ata nung mag-launch. Mm, mga ganun lang yun. Yeah. Uh, Sean Shani says, uh, luma na yung iPhone. Kuya Alex, thoughts on the Mi Band 3? I think the Mi Band 3 is excellent, but, you know, if you... I have a Mi Band 2. I hindi ako mapapabili ng Mi Band 3. Um, but if it's affordable, Mi Band 3 is affordable, I think there's a new touchscreen on it. Because the Mi Band 2 does not have a touchscreen. It has a, like a touch-sensitive button. But the Mi Band 3, the screen actually you can touch. So there's a big difference there and I think some software changes have been made. And, and affordable, naman siya, I think the Mi Band 3 is what, 1,500? So, and the Mi Band 2, I bought it for like 1,200. So the small 300 peso change there is worth enough the price to get the the Mi Band 3 if you're any if you're getting that anyway if you're getting a Mi Band anyway and this is a smart band that you can get for less than 2,000 pesos that's that's what chump change na lang talaga mura na yun for, for a smart band no? parang sila na nga lang yata yung company na gumagawa nyo nyo medyo uh, the Mi Band 2 was actually super popular I think it sold millions I guess it's mura kasi you know? um, there, obviously hmm. Samsung also I think Cherry Cherry yata may ganyan. Yeah. <laughs> Cherry mo. I think medyo konti na lang yung nila lang si Cherry. They're, 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 you know, Samsung also launched the Galaxy Watch, for example. Uh, I think it's 14,000 pesos, which is about $300. Also, uh, the same launch, uh, when when Apple launched the XSX, uh, 10S, 10S, 
Max and uh, 10R, they also launched the new Apple I, I Watch or Apple Watch Series 4 um, yeah. with a bigger display. I think that's the biggest thing, the bigger display. I think uh, I think the, the antennas yeah, are better. Or yeah, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm actually quite impressed with some of the the things. Oh, the things with the 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 Apple Watch, but obviously. Um, not 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 super interesting for some of us consumers here in the Philippines. So we don't discuss the Apple Watch as much. And of course, iPhones are uh, the phones are more important because a lot more people are interested in the phones. Yes. Uh, let's see here. Oh my God, andamiko, andamiko. I gotta keep up with the comments here. <laughs> uh. Brickster John Lumabi Core ML makes a difference for Apple. Yeah, I like that. Yung some I I I vaguely remember a lot of you. Know, there's a little bit of a demo of their, um, you know, face tracking now for the new uh the new face me 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 mer me right or something like mm-hmm. that. <laughs> <clears throat> Let me see. Sorry if I skip your comments. Sometimes uh I am not very good at scrolling through comments right now because of. You know, lots of windows open. Um, 50, 58K in Samsung Galaxy Note 9 sa Green Hills. AJT Gadget World. Tingnan nyo na lang yun. Base Philippines. model yun. Base model. Yeah, Pat, that's Patrick Ibora. Why not just buy the white market version if, if ano? Why not? Di ba 60,000 lang? 60,000 yung... Wait, let's let's check CMK si cell phones for their Galaxy Note 9. No? 56 yata. Yung, ay, 55,990. Yata yung Note 9. Let's see. Samsung Note 9. Okay. Yung tropa ko, mag-click nyo ng yung 75. Yeah, bro, ito, if you're... <laughs> Samsung Galaxy Note 9, 128 gigabyte. It's 52,990 at CMK cell phones. So... Wala ka na minura. Hindi, CMK cell phones is my... Is the go-to price talaga. This is the... That's why I follow CMK cell phones because they're... they're the prices at CMK cell phones is ridiculously good. Uh, the one thing about CMK cell phones, you cannot uh, pay in credit card, for example. You should, they only accept cash generally. But their prices ah, are ridiculously good. No, According to this, there's... Parang ano yung, parang Widget City. Parang ganun. De, and Widget City is gray market. That's Widget mm-hmm. City, no warranty. I know I, I, I know who the... Si, si Martin yun. Uh, Widget City, I respect Widget City for what they are. They import products. They sell it imported. CMK cell phones mm-hmm. are official NTC approved sellers. Mm-hmm. White market yan with f- official warranty from the brand. Right? <coughs> so, yeah. So, CMK cell phones... Um, I like this. I I've been following CMK cell phones ever since I've covered you know gadgets and and Androids and and, and new phones and uh, stuff like that. So I CMK cell phones is where you go to buy the most affordable version of white market uh, phones. Um, so yeah, <laughs> uh, several. <laughs> no, maganda lang talaga yung. They just have a very good infrastructure. CMK cell phones just have a very good sort of infrastructure na back end where they can get a very good price they price it very well eh, pero ang ano nila ang, ang requirement lang nila cash only mm, walang, kasi walang overhead yung card. cash diba? yung credit card may overhead yun eh. so and also their stores are not in malls their stores are in physical stores sa uh, uh, West Avenue and, and near Munoz and whatnot. so mm, you have to go to their stores uh. Um, so if you want to get good prices for cash, you go try check out cmkcellphones.com. Let's see here. Um, buh, 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 buh. Wait, let me move my 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 comments over here so I can read it. Uh, yung S five S parang iPhone five na may fingerprint scanner lang. Uh, Kylo Nyata says, pati the OnePlus sixty mo wala na three point five millimeter jack. So okay, let's uh. Yes. Yeah, so uh, let's let's finish up on the the XR first. So XR LCD display, um, aluminum build. I think that's a good trade-off para sa akin. If I would get an iPhone, that's the iPhone I'd get. Um, you know, I don't. I'm not a very premium guy. I'm okay with LCD. <laughs> so 
that's I'll be I'll be fine with that kind of uh, phone. But anyway, um, let's. Basta 1080p. Basta 1080p. 1080p. Yeah, yeah, 1080p naman yan. Um, so let. Uh, I think there's a YouTube video about the the lack of headphone jack now or on the one plus 60 headphone. Um, they I thought they posted their own video and they wala. I guess wala. Kaya daw nila ginawa yan para makasave daw sa ano, spaces ba yun? Yeah, I mean, there there's some arguments na uh, save on space or save on price or whatnot. Um, but yeah, it's it's uh, it's kind of a loss. Uh, me personally, I need the headphone jack for other reasons. I need the headphone jack because I vlog. And when I vlog, I use a microphone. So when I use a microphone, I need the mm-hmm. headphone jack for the microphone. If you can give me a microphone that doesn't need a headphone jack... For example, uses mic, uh, USB Type C, for example, or if I can get a wireless microphone that works the same way as I would vlog the same way, then I will be happy na wala yung headphone jack for me. I'm okay with Bluetooth headphones, for example. Yes. Convenience lang talaga. It's very nice to have the 3.5 millimeter jack, no, diba? Um, but I'm yes. okay with losing it if I'm getting a better phone or a better, you know, whatever. Better waterproofing, for example. Um, but of course, there are people. Not talagang, like I said, they are. That some people buy fifty thousand peso headphones, right? Mm. So if your headphone, your fifty thousand peso headphones won't fit into your fifty thousand peso phone, you're gonna be upset. So there are people like that, right? So I, I'm not everybody. I'm okay with losing the headphone jack, but there are people who will, who who are not okay with that. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're, you, for example, you're using a headphone right now, no? Hmm. So the one plus sixty, it's kind of sad that the headphone jack is going away. Um, I think one plus is losing their way, honestly, for the most part. They're just not competent anymore, Machado, right? So a little bit sad there. Actually, I'm gonna do this. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Are you? Do you keep up with the uh, one plus or no? Um, yeah. I see, I see. I thought, okay. So on OnePlus, I think, Medjo, they're losing a little bit of their ground in terms of innovation, in terms of price-to-performance ratio and stuff like that. Tomatas, tomatas, yes, tomatas. yes. And for example, their OnePlus 6 was not, you know, affordable at all. Must afford, there were, even the Zenfone 5Z was more affordable in specs, specs-wise mm. than the, than the yes. uh, OnePlus 6. So I was disappointed there. Um, so the OnePlus 60... Na, na eh. Nasa, it, it was already in the trend that I would be disappointed with OnePlus for the OnePlus 60. Um, so I guess I was expecting this to happen talaga. <laughs> Maganda lang lang lumiit yung notch niya sa taas. Um, ano yun, water, ano talagang? Droplet, ano yun? Notch yata. Yeah, the droplet oh. notch. I I still I use, for example the Oppo F9 mm, has Oppo a has, has a droplet notch. I still don't like it because it's like I said there's a lot of problems with the notch not showing information that I need and whatnot. It's a little bit it's just a hassle where you have to click on an extra mm-hmm. button that says okay I want my my phone to look like this or my phone to I just want one setting. Right? I don't want you know changing my, my display display stuff. It's annoying. Pero mas okay na yan kaya Find X. Yes. Kasi yung Find X may ano siya yung mechanical. Uh, yeah, mechanical. Well, the Find X is a cool concept. It's a cool mm, concept. Maganda naman siya. Maganda siya. Uh, it's, gonna, it's an expensive concept but it's a cool concept. Yes. Uh, uh, Almost 50K. <laughs> it is. It is 50K. So, um... Yeah, I I was sli- slightly disappointed on the OnePlus 60, but you know, ganun talaga. It's, you know, it's may pattern na talaga si OnePlus that is going downhill. Eh. Um, si Xiaomi na lang talaga yung si, 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 OnePlus was did, I, I don't know if you're familiar with OnePlus. OnePlus is actually a sister company of Oppo and Vivo. Oppo, yes, yes, Vivo, yes. and OnePlus are in the same company. And, 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 and yes, yes. Ito naman pinaglalaban si Vivo no, at si Oppo. Kahit sa ibang bansa, they, 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 <laughs> kasi, like I said, yung parang Huawei yan and Honor, they have to separate themselves. Um, and for companies like Oppo, Vivo, and OnePlus, they have to have different management and different, they have to compete with each other because competitive pa rin yan eh. They're, they're, they're still, uh, uh, what is it called? Um, Results-based. If Oppo is not get being profitable, then they're gonna they're gonna get 
killed off or this or, i know diba so all of them have to be profitable all of, all of them have to compete with each other parin so it doesn't talaga yeah. unfortunately i think because you know oneplus uh, is in the same is in the same boat as vivo and oppo i think they're not as they're just not innovating or competing so much in the entry level space where for example poco phone or basically xiaomi and surprisingly huawei which uh, honor under huawei has come up with this honor play which is well they're extremely impressive phones at this price point the honor play is actually more affordable than than the poco phone by one one or two thousand pesos but uh there's there's Aside from those two phones, nothing can touch them. Diba? Yes. Yun yung pinakamatindi talaga. <laughs> Pinakamura. And, na flagship. And would you... W- uh, parang Honor came out of nowhere. Xiaomi, I could understand. Honor came comes out of nowhere with... with uh, no. I mean, I'm not praising Honor, no? I think Pocophone is better. But props to Huawei and Honor for coming up with you know, a, 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 a market destroying phone where for all of a sudden Asus, Vivo, Oppo, OnePlus 6 and OnePlus and wala na, wala, we, nobody considers those anymore, no? <laughs> <laughs> so let's, uh, let's, check, uh, let's check, check some comments here. Um, blah, 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 blah. Where's the super chat? I see hot ask. Uh, so we're you we're I'm on my extras channel right and we're using a different YouTube channel. We're on the secondary channel now. And because of YouTube uh, sort of uh, monetization policies, I the the extras channel is no longer monetized. Uh, so we're not earning anything from this channel. It doesn't oh, doesn't matter. It's okay. Um, but also super chat is disabled because I'm not monetized. I might consider monetizing it because some some parts of the channel is eligible for monetization um but honestly we don't really make that much money off of uh, bts so i don't really uh, enable it but if you want i'll try to see if i can enable super chat uh, i see out thank you for the gesture by the way if you if you know if you mean that you wanted to donate some money but uh for now we can't uh, we can't uh, enable super chat at least for this stream uh, so let's see here. To compare with Apple, they provide excellent processors and integrate it carefully with software. Yes, Brickster. Yes, uh, IC Hot says agreed. Brickster, you are you are correct there. The A12 might might look like just any other processor, but it is far better than any mobile processors right now. You're also correct, Brickster, because it is the first seven nanometer processor. Seven nanometer yes. is crazy. Super late, na talaga. Super crazy. Like the last uh, processor we have is what ten nanometer from Samsung, the eight four five. Tano. Ang laki no yeah. three three nanometers is huge. Intel can't even beat ten nanometer right now, di ba? I don't know if you're. Hindi pa sila nakagawa. Yeah, so there's it's, it's something crazy <laughs> like seven nanometer. Sing liit na yata ng binching. Why? No, 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 no. Seven nanometer is is not visible to the human eye. <laughs> You're talking about millimeters. Se- millimeters. So, mm. diba? Nano is like oh, 1,000 1, thousandths of a millimeter or something like that. Super late. We're talking about nano things. Um, uh, yeah, so... <laughs> super late. Super late. So, um... Challenging going if, if you're not up, if you're not updated when it comes to processor or ma- ma- chip manufacturing technologies, for the most part, our uh, venerable uh, number one sna- uh, Snapdragon 625 is a 14 nano wait no 12 nanometer chip. 12 nanometer mm-hmm. chip is Snapdragon oh, 625. Yeah. Before that, ah uh, the 14 sorry 14 nanometer and then 636 is 12 nanometer ata. Before that, ang processors natin were 28 nanometer. So yung mga Snapdragon uh, 820 uh, 14. Yes yes yes. 14 yata. 28 nanometers <laughs> from 28 nanometers we jumped from 28 nanometers to 14 nanometers kinalahati we made it half the size of mabilis lang ilang taon lang yun no it was just one jump they actually iterated to ano that's the reason why the snapdragon 625 is such an amazing processor because 28 nanometers burned so much battery the bigger yes. the nanometer, the more it requires more power to power, kasi, ba? Wala siyang battery efficient. Yes, so 
once we hit 12 nanometers we hit a super huge efficiency number but think about from uh, oh, 14 nanometer sorry once we hit the snapdragon 625 we hit 14 nanometer but now we're doing seven nanometers Sobrally that's really. half of 14 nanometers that's two times more efficient than a snapdragon 625 <laughs> that's crazy uh just the just the, the in a history here uh like nvidia hasn't been able to hit seven nanometers nvidia is like what nasa na, i think 10 nanometers in nvidia amd is at oh, ano yung qualcomm 710 ano na bang ano na i didn't i didn't hindi ko updated pero feeling ko mga i think 10 nanometers is 710 let's actually check uh okay. snapdragon 710 yeah bago yan wala pa masyado sa phones yun eh, right. 710 uh, i don't know if it says the nanometer here Yung Wikipedia, the easy Wiki chip. Let's see. Ten, uh, ten, ten nanometer. There it is. There it is. Ten nanometer. Yeah, that's pretty good. Ten nanometer is pretty good, but seven nanometer is crazy. <laughs> that's crazy good. Um, Ang tanong jan kuya, kaya pa kaya makahabol ng Qualcomm, Exynos, Kirin. Oh, yeah. Seven nanometer. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, one thing, one thing is certain here. Uh, what Apple uses is basically a not rebranded Qualcomm processor, but more like a re reimagined Qualcomm chip. Generally, generally, uh, it's like a they ju they just put more money into it to provide to create a more higher advanced version of for example snapdragon 845 or something like that it is very highly customized but this it's still made by the same manufacturing people uh, either samsung or tsmc uh, generally i think right now tsmc is the main producer of apple chips but yes, yes, yes. the they're, they're basically the same factories they share the well, sometimes they share the same factories or they're very similar factories, so they will it will be happen eventually. But some Apple just has the money to develop the seven nanometer as fast as possible. Seven nanometer is coming, naman. It's fine. Uh, AMD is also coming with seven nanometer soon, uh, but it's still not you know hindi pa guaranteed or whatnot. But it's it's soon. It's soon. It's soon. Ano lang talaga na una lang talaga si Apple. So expect, you know, maybe year from now, two years from now, we'll get seven nanometer Androids. Um, I'm thinking. Ni Apple, I, 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 I'm thinking. I'm thinking two <laughs> years from now. I'm thinking we'll stay with ten nanometer for the next year, and then in 20, 2020 we'll be seven nanometer, siguro. Uh, let's see. Ang plano daw kasi ni Samsung, 2021 yata, ano eh, 5 nanometer ni. Hanggang doon yata yung limit. Grabe na yun. 5 nanometer. Well, I mean, uh, Sobra late na na. I'm not, I'm not one to to discuss this too much. Kasi masyad, it's way too much into the, yung, the, hmm. the far future na din. I, I like, hmm. I like Kaya the phones now. Yun. I like, you know, ex experiencing what the phones can offer now. I'm I'm happy that Samsung uh, that Apple is pushing the seven nanometer. It's it's something crazy and something that's real and and now. I don't really you know, uh, but honestly, sobrang ane, sobrang bilis ng fast pace ng Yes, uh, for consumers though, for a lot of you know budget oriented consumers and whatnot, we're fine with fourteen. I'm fine with fourteen nanometer. I'm fine with ten nanometer as long as you know my money is is getting yes, what's what fine. Well. Na rin ako dun. Uh -oh. Um, but so yeah, but this is why Apple is so expensive because they push for these technologies. No, um, let's see. I see how says I don't use the headphone jack at all, um, but you can use it with the headphone dongle though. Yeah, but uh, what we were talking about was the new iPhones X, 10s, 10s Max, and the XR won't have the headphone con converter uh, in the box, so you'll have to buy it separate. Uh, the profit din kasi if walang headphone jack. Of course, of course, you have to buy the dongle. You have to buy the dongle. The dongle is what thirty dollars, um, and it has a it has a, a proprietary technology that's licensed from Apple, so you have to pay Apple for every single dongle sold. 
But if it's just a 3.5mm yes. headset jack, nobody pays Apple for a 3.5mm headset jack, diba? Uh, TSMC's manufacturing is really good. It is really good. Uh, we're talking about only about manufacturing process here. I'm mentioning what they're processing here. It's, it's hard to explain here since we're going technical already. Yes, Kuya Brickster, I know. <laughs> I know. We, we, even though this show is very technical in itself and very you know, enthusiast level technology discussion. Sometimes we still have, there's still discussions that is way too technical sometimes. But I like, I like that we have the, the space to get, get into that kind of space. You know? uh, Jake Octavio, uh, Octavio says, parang lumalabas naman ngayon sa, si Apple yung pinapauna ng ibang company tapos gagayahin na ng iba. Yeah, I mean, obviously, Apple is the lead in these technologies. Look, look at face unlock. Look at the notch. Look at the old screen display. All of those are freaking Apple cop- copied from yeah. Apple technically, di ba? Whether we li- lang ni Apple yung ano, edge. Yeah. <laughs> uh, whether we like it or not, no. Uh, the face unlock, the the old screen display notch, right? Are all yeah. Apple I uh, know, Apple invented that with the iPhone 10. And some people still complain that Apple sometimes innovates. Well, look at this, diba? Look at what Apple did. And now everybody on Android is copying face unlock and, and the notch. Ang ginaya lang ng Apple yung ano, depth of field sa camera ng yeah, Note 8. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. I guess. But everybody, yeah, I don't know. Who, I, I forgot who originally, you know, offered depth of field. Wasn't it uh, Huawei P9? With the original dual... Dual... Uh, Camera. Dual ca- dual sensor camera. Hmm. I I had the P9. The P9 was great. A fo- great phone. Kaya lang, I I think the Huawei P9 was an excellent phone, if only because it's 25, 24,000 pesos nung launch. The P10 was like 40 mil. What the heck? What? Ano ba sa kaya ng galing? Alaga ng June up sa pressure. Ah. Pero mo sulit naman yung jump ng pressure niya, de ba? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Rafael Santiago says, TSMC lang ba talaga kaya mag 7 nanometers? No. Uh, it, like I said, sabay, halos sabay-sabay lahat yung mga manufacturing ngayon. They're all competitive. It's just that Apple has a lot of money to push for 7 nanometer. Susunod uh, na yata yung Huawei sa 7 yes, nanometer. Yes, si uh, Kirin. No? And also Samsung. Will, launch na this October. Samsung hindi magpapahuli yan. Diyos ko, kaya naman. Mm, Siyempre. Um, December yata siling. Oh, okay. So, Kasamay ng Qualcomm. I, I, I made a mistake. Uh, IC Hot says the, dong- the 3.5, mm, uh, 3.5 millimeter dongle is only $9, not $30. May, I might have heard wrong or maybe uh, that was when the original, maybe the $30 was back then when the dongle was introduced. Uh, so okay, apparently it's only nine dollars. So it's not bad actually. Um, na- Naalala niyo yung inupload ko na video about do sa dongle, yung sa Samsung. <laughs> Ang kulit ng dongle. Yeah. Well, yeah, yung mga yung mga burn mga burn videos ni Samsung. Um, <laughs> parang LG ata yung unang nag dual cam. Well, uh, there's a lot of comparison. LG was the first with a wide angle dual cam, and then Huawei is the first with. A dual cam that only a composite dual cam is what they call it. A composite because it doesn't take two photos. It just takes one photo combined from two sensors, right? Uh, Brickster says not really. iPhone seven already has it, although not sure if they were the first. Anyway, let's try not to get into semantics. Now, who who did it first? Who did this? What? Uh, we're just, <laughs> just a friendly discussion, lor. We're not trying to be like, okay, this is better. This is better. No. Uh, let's see. There's a lot of comments on Facebook that I didn't read yet. Uh, Roger Distro Jr. says, Ah, we're talking, ito yung mga smartwatches. Eh. Pebble, Fitbit, Sony Smartband. Meron ako Sony, ba- Sony Smartwatch 3 dito, but uh, I don't haven't used it in a while because I've been using the the Xiaomi Mi Band. I had a Pebble. <laughs> That's it. I, I love the Pebble, no? It just didn't get the support after all the smartwatches launched. Mark De- Mark Desiderio says, "Remember CMK Cellphones Express Music Days? Parang chineko pa ata price. Yeah. Uh, the thing with the CMK Cellphones, super old old school look yung website nila. <laughs> uh, OnePlus is quite good with software update though. Yes. Um, you know, just I don't. You know, I still like stock Android compared to OnePlus, but they they're not bad. Pero may mga nagsasabi, mas maganda daw yung Samsung na ngayon na, na software." 
Yung Samsung software is better. It's much better now. Uh, according to Mark Desiderio, from a milli millimeter, a millimeter is one tenth of a centimeter. No, a millimeter, one million nanometers is one millimeter. <laughs> and it, no? That's crazy. That's like super Microsoft, uh, Microsoft, uh, super microscope level, no? Um, Rabel, uh, Rafael Santiago says, Coca, TSMC pa ang ba, uh, 7 nanometer. So we were talking about that already. Uh, Roger Distro says, I think it was HTC M8. A uh, dual camera? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Sige lang, sige lang. Uh, wait, what is go? Nalago ako sa YouTube. What's going on here? Okay. Um. Whoa. Wait. What's going on? Just, wait. Hang on. Some technical difficulties, ko yah. Sa internet? No, 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 no. Uh, my YouTube got disconnected. I think. Hmm. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, na disconnect ako. Let me let me get the comment section back. It'll be just one second. Sometimes Facebook, uh, sometimes YouTube does this. No, parang they 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 kick me out. And Bakit? I pop this out, and we should be good. There we go. There's our comment section. We're back. Kuya, napansin yun ba yung sa Gmail kuya? Pag nagsa sign in kayo, bigla siyang mag-automatic sign out. I guess that's a similar the similar issue with wh- what I was talking about. Yung the, the somewhat random sign sign out sign ins. Uh, I think similar yung ating problem there. I think it's just a normal occurrence <laughs> with with these kinds of uh, with with Google now. Where's my YouTube? Okay. Uh, all right. Google problem na sila. By the way, maybe we are mistaken here. We are talking about processor manufacturing here. Apple, Huawei, Qualcomm, and only designed their processors. Samsung, TSMC, and Global Foundries are the once creating the processor. Brickster is very, very passionate about these this processor manufacturing stuff. I like it. Um, Rafael Santiago, most likely Brickster is uh, is more informed about all of this stuff than I am. I'm just more like a casual observer. You know? Rafael Santiago says, So, ang trend ngayon ay papa daming lenses. There's rumor about Nokia sa sobrang daming camera, parang five or more. Are we going to the pounds, right so. direction? Yeah. Adrian, that's why you're here, bro. <laughs> Tell me about um, this uh, Nokia with like 5 billion lenses. <laughs> sa tingin ko naman, ano eh, may chance talagang mag-boom or sumikat yung 5 cams na yan ng Nokia. Kasi dyan mo makikita na ano eh, baka may chance talagang mag-boom na mag yung flagship yung phone na yan. Mas tao worth ano ha, yung makatao naman yung presyo niya, hindi yung overpriced. Ako naman, okay. So, ako uh, kampo, I I like phones with one lens. Because I believe that uh, for example, DSLRs for example, they only have one lens and one mm-hmm. sensor and they provide the best image quality. Now, phones are slightly different because they're thin and they're not it's very impossible to build a big sensor onto a phone that is super thin. The biggest sensor we have in a modern smartphone is of course the Lumia 1020 and the biggest yeah. sensor in 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 legal in actual parlance is the the Nokia 808 pure view. Um, mm-hmm. we haven't gotten a bigger sensor ever since except for one other phone from Panasonic which is a terrible Android phone but has a 1 inch sensor. So we're not talking about one inch sensor. The biggest one is still the Lumia 1020. And I think we should be able to achieve at least a phone with the same size uh, sensor as the Lumia 1020 in 2018. It's just a, a lot of brands are just not interested in doing that. I think one of the reasons why is because a lot of brands are reliant on Sony's IMX sensors that are pretty pretty average in terms of size. They're 2.3 inch, uh, 1 over 2, 3 inch and whatnot. Um, Sony camera talaga. Yeah, Sony sensors or uh, or uh, sometimes sensors, yeah. sometimes OVX sensor or whatever. So no, they're, they're Apple na yata, Sony rin, di ba? Sony sensors. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sony sensors. There not a lot of brands are taking risk when it comes to size of the sensors. So what they're doing instead of the sensor size is they're adding more lenses, <laughs> di ba? That's what they're doing. Yeah. That's the that's the side. Kaya nag-add sila ng mas maraming lens kasi for example. 
yung DSLR, ah. hindi nila talaga kayang ilagay sa cellphone yun no. kasi kakapal, kakapal yung big. camera ah, bump. Ah. Well, yeah, hindi nila talaga I, I, I still honestly want another Lumia 1020, a big sensor like that. Maybe slightly thicker phone. I'm okay with something like the Lumia 1020 style. Um, if you can get me a big sensor. I like big sensors because it's better low light performance and blah, 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 yes. blah, blah. But right now, I'm actually very happy with the cameras that we're getting, you know. We're do, doing pretty good low light performance right now, even with the small sensors. Um, even our mid-range phones can do, what, very competitive photos, right? Um, we have HDR now, very nice, you know, extra feature. I don't like the bokeh, I don't like the beautification, I'm not... Yung slow motion maganda, yung 900... Yeah, yan, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nine, oh, but I'm okay with, like, I'm okay with 120 FPS, I'm okay with 200 FPS, uh, 240, but yeah, 960 FPS is super overkill para sa atin. <laughs> Sobra, ano na. Uh, yung ano, 4K video recording, maganda rin. Ah. Oh, I shoot 4K. No, I shoot 4K. I love, I love 4K. I love 4K. Uh, Brickster says, mm -hmm. uh, software is legit shoot here. Just look look at Pixel 2 phone. Software is key to better cameras. Yes. I believe there are three are already overkill. So he's saying that, you know, sen sen way too many sensors na even too. Um, uh, Google just has a very good uh, AI algorithm for the Pixel 2 cameras, actually. That's one thing. I explained it a lot in previous BDS, so maybe I'll not explain it anymore. But what Google does is they create an algorithm for the entire world based on how people are editing their photos. <laughs> so it's a, it's, a, it's a crazy world. HTC pa rin ba yung Google Pixel? HTC pa rin. I think so. I don't know. I, I don't really keep up with whichever version is which I made by Wu. Sometimes it's LG, sometimes it's HTC. I don't even I don't even care anymore. Um <laughs> uh, sabi ni Brixer mukha ba daw siya mukha ba daw siyang may pinaglalaban? Hindi naman, bro. You're you're actually passionate about the topic, so I like that, diba? Diba, Adrian? Yes, yes. Diba? You need passion. We we, we all like that, mm. diba? <laughs> Uh, Rafael Santiago says, yeah, take Huawei for example, ganda ng software ni processing nila, even F2.2, ganda ng low light performance. Compare natin sa Xiaomi na F1.9 na may half-baked software. Well, Xiaomi has good, sometimes good photos din. Uh, I like the Redmi Note 5 AI. Uh, the photos from Redmi Note 5 AI is pretty good. Sometimes it's, ano eh, it's, uh, it's a case-to-case -case basis sometimes. Sometimes the brand has more time to, to fully... Uh, realize the image quality that they can get from the sensor and lens. Sometimes they rush the product to market and they don't have the, that much time to, to develop the, the sensor. Ang pagkakaalam ko kasi sa Nokia 9, ano na siya eh. Meron ng telephoto lens, wide-angle lens, tsaka uh, yung regular lens. Okay. Yung the rest, di ko pala. <laughs> One, one is for x-ray so you can see uh, people naked apparently <laughs> if, 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 that, if the Nokia 9 has an x-ray lens I'll buy it <laughs> uh, just, <laughs> Sean Dale says, says dual or more cams are gimmicky unless your second cam is wide angle like LG does you know yeah I mean I, like, I, like, like me I only use uh, a phone with one rear cam and one front cam. I'm okay with that. I like a phone with a specialized. Very, they 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 put all their money into the rear in the one rear cam, and I put all the money into one front cam. I don't like like you know two front cams because I have so much money I can buy two front cams. I I I think there's a fundamental issue here where we're trying to save money, but these phone manufacturers are trying to push two front cams, two, two rear cams. Ano ba tayo? Are we rich? Are we... Diba? Why don't you just... Oh, why don't you just remove that extra cam and make the product cheaper? Diba? Uh, Samsung nga, ano eh. Diba yung S10 gagawing three cams yung likod as two yeah. front cams. Yeah. Well, <laughs> tapos oh. may event pa sila this October na ano, yeah, four camps. Yeah, yeah. Supposedly nga they 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 have. A, no, I, I think it's two camps, two camps. But anyway, it's it is what mm -hmm. it is. Ganun talaga. People are just developing more more lenses and stuff like that. Ako, I 
At this point, I, at this point, uh, I'm okay with, for example, Samsung has a telephoto lens in a in a regular lens. I'm okay with that. Um, mm. I'm accepting of the fact that there are camera, there are phones now with like 16 plus two to get the bokeh effect. I don't need, mm. I don't use the bokeh effect, but you know, some people do, so yeah, it's so fine. So let's leave it as it is. Now, you know, people like some people will like it, some people will not. Um, me, you know, we have our own personal opinions about you know which one's affordable, which one should be there. Um, unfortunately, the market dictates that we go with more lenses. Unfortunately, and uh, whether you like it or not, we are going more lenses, more lenses. Yes, <laughs> no, yeah. Uh, let's see here. Brickster says. But with my uh, LG needs to improve their OLED, but with micro LED under development, maybe they're holding their breath. Mark Rogers says, for me, the best type was the LG camera wide angle. Yeah, I like the wide angle. I like LG phones actually. Actually, mm. improved naman yung OLED ng LG. Mm. Kasi sabi sa latest news, ang Apple dun daw kumukuha ng OLED sa LG. It's possible. LG is pretty good. Uh, it's just you know Samsung mm. has you know. Been, ha, Kasi masyadong mahal yung, uh, ano, mahal yung OLED ng Samsung. Yeah. <laughs> Traditionally, Samsung was the original OLED manufacturer for a lot of brands. So, that's yes. why, you know. But LG is keeping ah, sabi up. Nung, sabi ni ayun, CEO ni Samsung ngayon, ah, nag, nag-alat na sila ng budget para mapa-improve pa yung ano, nali, OLED at AMOLED. Hmm. Yeah, LG, if, if anybody can do it, it's LG. They're like the biggest uh, brand in in displays aside from Samsung mostly. Um, Roger Distro says instead of buying a 70k phone, get a mirrorless camera na lang. I mean, yeah, but some people think about it. Some people uh, do do not have a pocket for a, a mirrorless camera. They don't have. The, they want a phone because the phone is in their pocket. They can't. Mm. They don't want to spend the the uh, you know. They, they don't want to bring a bag. For their mirrorless camera, um, so people you, there are there's a, there are advantages to just having that expensive phone because that has a expensive camera. But I agree with you because I would rather have a, a big big good camera. No? Uh, Icy Hot says, Alex, do you think Google Pixel 3 will come with that bucket deep notch? It it seems like so, but I hope not. I don't like. I, I really hope that we don't get more notched phones. I hope 2019 will not have any more notches. Um, <laughs> but it might it might stay. I'm not if if it has a notch, I'm seriously hating on the on the Google Pixel. Kyle says you Samsung Yeah, that's why I like Samsung. LG I hate I love the LG G7, but God I hate the notch. I hate the notch. Yung L G B fourteen na magaka notch. Yeah, and they, the G7 already has a notch, so the V40 definitely will have a notch for sure. Uh, I, Kyle says, yung iba ginugusto nila na maraming lens uh, para ibang, ibang ipagyabang lang. <laughs> uh, Rafael Santiago says, notch or no notch? Ako, I, if the software is good for the notch, if the software you know, allots for the notch, then I'm okay with a notch, but Currently, all the notched phones that I've tried has bad, you know, not they haven't made the software work with the notch. So yes, exactly. So personally, I don't like the notch uh, unless they fix the software. <laughs> Earl June Subire says Xiaomi talaga the best. Bulok Apple at Samsung nyo Xiaomi number one. Dang dude, <laughs> kalma lang bro. Kabe galit na galit. Uh, Pero Rod- okay naman yung Samsung Kasi ngayon lang talaga yung mid-range Tsaka entry level Medyo pumalpak na eh yeah, yeah. Overpriced diba? Yeah, medyo yeah. nag-overpriced yeah. uh, So Nathaniel James says Still hoping Nokia will remake 1020 With an updated flagship Well yeah Adrian hopes to hopes that happens to, I personally hope that happens as well But you know Like I said I hope they get the engineers Or at least a lot of imaging engineers back Or at least New in imaging engineers, para um, we can get the original peer view team, or at least a good peer view team now. Um, <laughs> Icy Hat says the problem with LG is they both have a notch and a chin. <laughs> you're right. You're right. You're right. 
Uh, Brickster says, we're in sock mid generation. I don't know what the heck sock mid is. With the reborn megapixel battle between manufacturing here, we can see that people care more about better looking photos for FB and not for external uses. Well, yeah, it's it's mostly for FB these days. No? Um, understandable naman yun. F FB is the battleground. Or Instagram is also the battleground then. Um, the 1020 is reborn then Nokia slaps a chin according to Roger Distro. I'm, not, I'm okay with this, a knit, a chin. I'm okay with the forehead and a chin as long as the camera is good and 16 by 9 no notch. <laughs> Alright, so uh, let's move on. No, uh, This is a lot of a lot of uh, debating, debating on, you know, stuff. But I like this, but, you know, I think we should move on now. Uh, what's our topics? Let me... I forgot. iPhone is done. The iPhone is done, yes. We were talking about... Where's my... Let me, let me get my, uh, my graphics so I can... People? Vivo V11. Oh, Vivo V11. Do we want to talk about that? It's so freaking boring. <laughs> Ay, siya pala dagdag ko lang dun sa Samsung. Ano? Uh -huh. uh, ang plano kasi nila next year, eh, parang i-reform at yata nila yung mid-range at entry-level phones para makasabay sila sa Vivo at Oppo. Kasi parang natal natatalo yata si sila. Si Samsung? Mm, magre sila. Well, I I never thought Samsung has any problems except obviously their mid-range phones are absolute, you know, waste of money, you know. Um, <laughs> but their high-end phones are are what it, where it's at. So, and I think high-end, you know, I I never thought their high-end phones needed or they needed more. <clears throat> one th one thing about Samsung is they can do anything except they they yes, make their mid-range phones anything. they're just making their mid-range phones expensive because they can they don't give a crap mm -hmm. i think no um it would be nice if they actually gave a crap diba? maybe they're gonna mm -hmm. argue that you know they may they need more mid-range sales but as of this moment it's just expensive crap no yes. um if they do something about it and make their their mid-range phones more competitive then you know more power to them but at this point Nobody cares about mid-range Samsung. <laughs> Are you looking forward for a mid-range Samsung phone? No, I just want a new Galaxy no, S. No. Right? No. No. Alright, so let's quickly discuss this new Vivo V11 and V11i. Um, so Vivo has Maganda just... Siya. Yeah, Vivo has Maganda just siya. announced a new V11, V11i. And I think, for the most part, the specs are are normal. No? Normal. Mid-range. Yeah, mid-range. And the price is okay, but... The one selling point is the in-display fingerprint scanner that currently only Vivo has in offer. No, no other brand has an in-display scanner right now. I think first yes. in the future, makakaroon yung iba so far. But right next now, year, next year. yeah, yeah, right now available now is Vivo V11. I think that's the only Kaya selling pa. point. <laughs> Yun ang pinaka advantage ng phone. What, el what else is there? Except, okay, it has a slightly less of a notch because it's using a the teardrop, right? Yes. Tsaka ano, very convenient pag sa screen talaga. Or sa ano, yung fingerprint scanner. Yeah, but will you pay 4,000 pesos more just for that privilege? Depende na sa'yo, no? It depends mm -hmm. on you. Would you if you're gonna pay for just having a fingerprint scanner on the on the screen? Me personally, I don't care if the fingerprint scanner is outside the screen. Ba? Pero parang mas maganda yata yung ano, face unlock nila din. Ah uh, well, I I have other prob <laughs> I have problems with face unlock. Face unlock is fake. On Androids, it's fake because they're not they're not 3D modeling your face. They're just face unlock on Androids is bad. It's an insecure. <laughs> They're not actually modeling your face. Though. Oh, exactly, exactly. Modeling din yun ano? Exactly. So I don't like face unlock. Um, and fingerprint scanner, I don't care where it is as long as it works. So I'm okay with fingerprint scanners on the back, for example. No. Um, yeah. This is a little bit uh, of a of a premium feature for me. That you know, people who care about premium features will want but for me I don't care about premium features so they're like for 20,000 pesos ito or poco phone hmm. diba? so what you're getting a 660 processor 6 gigs RAM so it's not bad but it's just not a poco phone um, 
And uh, there's another version, the Vivo V11i, without the finger, without the in-display fingerprint, for 16. Yung Vivo V11i parang ano yun? Yung Oppo F7 Youth. Yeah, yeah. Or Oppo F7 mm-hmm. actually, because the Youth is like 11,000. This is 16, no. Um, mm-hmm. And this is instead of a Snapdragon, this is a Helio P60, which is not okay. Um, but very good performing na rin daw yun, eh? MediaTek Helio P60. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Uh I have yung yung pin yung Oppo Oppo F9 dito is P, Helio P60 din eh. Um but it's not going to compete with the Snapdragon 845 or a Kirin 970. Yes. So yes. in terms of performance, <laughs> yeah, in terms of performance it's, it's nowhere near anything na yung anything anywhere near Poco phone or uh Honor Honor Play. Uh, so for people who are interested in this, you have to be interested in Vivo the brand, their 25 megapixel selfies, and or the in-display fingerprint scanner. Otherwise, you wouldn't buy these, would you? Mm-hmm. Right. So that's why I think mm-hmm. it's boring. Anyway, uh, let's let's since since I think that's the last of the needed discussion. That's a Vivo. We'll just tapos tayo dyan. All, all good. Because I don't think even our audience will want to argue about if the Vivo V11 is good or not. Because a lot of our audience is very uh, price uh, sensitive din. Ano? Pamulid <coughs> pala tong Vivo V11. Ano? Tsaka Vivo V11 Pro. Ah, hindi ko, nata- hindi, hindi ko natatandaan. Ata. <laughs> Tapos LCD lang yata yung ano, Vivo V11. Ay, ah, isang galing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... Roger Distro says, mga pakboy at patgirl ata may hilig sa midrange ng Samsung. <laughs> uh, infrared sensor already on some Android phones on po- and like Pocophone infrared sensor Samsung, uh, like face recognition. Yes, of course. Uh, there are phones with the infrared uh, face unlock. That's not what I'm talking about, obviously. I, it's you. When I, when I say I don't like face unlock, it's because most face unlock that we were we immediately followed iPhone 10 was the stupid unsecure face unlock with no infrared, no face uh, contour, whatever, no IR blaster. And I hate the fact that sobrang we were just bandwagoning when the uh, when the Zenfone 5 launched, when the Vivo v, uh, the Oppo F7 was launched. It was like face unlock this, face unlock that, face unlock this. I don't like face unlock because it's. it's <coughs> <laughs> I the Google had face unlock in a previous version of Android. They removed it because of how non-secure that locking technology is. Ngayon, mm. it's all the rage because Apple introduced it with the iPhone 10 and people wanted, "Oh my god, I got got face unlock on my phone now because Apple did it." <laughs> I hate the fact that the Samsung improved improved naman yung oh, nila, oh, so super improved yung fa- their face unlock is mm-hmm. Leagues of leagues beyond what Android face unlock is right now. Uh, Sean Jesus says 20k for a phone with Snapdragon 660, and he says like, oh, it's crazy face. Inum kamo na nato biko yan. Ubus na. Oh wait, I still have some. Mm. All right. Because almost the price of Poco phone is Vivo B11. Yes, that's why. You know, when it comes to value, value for money, talaga, it's very low. No. Uh, let's see here. Let me move this chat box again so I can read it better. <clears throat> Bixter says there's a problem with mid-range. It's very competitive. Samsung release a really good phone for that price. How long will it phone last? Xiaomi etc. will. F- Fight back. Yeah, tama ka, Mark Roger. Face unlock was already in Android before Apple face unlock. Pero pangit yung smart lock niya. Exactly, that's what I was talking about. No. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Sorry, some so I might skip, skip some comments because it might uh, make the show longer. No. Um, This is problematic. Wait, uh, this hard, although this is hard to support, there's people who mainly choose low and mid range. If I have less loyalty than those choosing flagship, eh, that's true, I guess. If Samsung and Xiaomi release a phone with the same specs at the sort of same price, will you choose Xiaomi? I think people will not. Okay, yeah, no, I, I buy I buy Samsung for sure. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I don't think Samsung. <laughs> if Samsung re- if Samsung releases a Poco phone. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap! Samsung boy na ako. 
dudumugin talaga yun. Holy crap, of course, sobra. I'd buy that in a heartbeat. Um, Paano kung 15,000 pesos lang? Oo, oh, okay. Samsung S9, Note 9, Note 9 F1 Poco <laughs> version. <laughs> Grabe. <laughs> Dudumugin talaga yun. Shando Jesus says, but hey, kung gusto mo na talaga ng in-display fingerprint, uh, saka yung inky blocks ng AMOLED, then go for it. Yeah, okay. But yeah, I think it's a little overpriced. And I think the technology being in in-display, I think, you know, you have to be pretty demanding to have, you know, to wanna spend money just to get an in-display scanner. I think it's bragging rights lang talaga. It's more like, you know, Pinagaya bang mo in display scanner mo? I think that's that's all it is for me, you know. Um, me being person that is uh, price sensitive, trying to be practical, trying to buy the best specs that I can for the price. All right. Uh, Pagkakaya ko delay naman yata yung in display finger fingerprint scanner ng Vivo V11. Delay. Delay? Ba? Ah, yeah, yeah, no. So okay. So here's the thing, no. Delay siya. Um, th- This is a this is a I think not a lot of people will care because it's slightly slower than a regular mm. fingerprint scanner that is outside the display. Yung X23 nila yun medyo 21 pa yun. 21. Ay 21 yes. pa natin, 21 plus oh, oh. Medyo mabilis pa yun. No no no, mabagal din yun. That's the original one. Um the thing is with in display fingerprint scanners there is a little bit of transference lag. Because you're trying to put your finger on top of a display that shows a, mo- a, a, a di- you know, whatever whatever kind of graphics, no? So, to to be able to get through a, a, a display that's showing some graphics and read the fingerprint, there's a little bit of lag. It's not super fast. Why? Because the bandwidth is yes. low. You know, you, you can only check your finger a small part at a time. So... Fingerprint reading on a display is slower on a, uh, a finger on display fingerprint scanner. I think for most people, they don't care. I didn't want to mention it because marami pang pag-usapan about the lag on, on a fingerprint scanner. Fingerprint display scanner thingamajig. But for the most part, it's a small lag only. It's just like, if it's like, po- if the... If the fingerprint scanner on regular phones is like 0.1 seconds or 0.01 seconds, this is what 0.1 or 0.2. So like, in a in 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 a fraction of a second, paren, but still slower, right? So yun lang naman. I didn't want to mention it because it's a it's a lengthy discussion if you really wanted to get into that. Kind of. Ah, kaya, kaya. Hmm. Yeah, kaya. Yes. No, kaya hindi pa nilagay yung Samsung ngayon ng in-display fingerprint scanner sa Note 9 at S9 and S9 Plus. Ano, hindi pa siya improved dahil yun nga, di ba? Yeah, it's, still, siya, it's still slow. It's still slow. Kapag nasa tubig, ano, hindi talaga ma Oh yeah, you won't be able to read that. Yun yung minamaster ngayon ng ano, Samsung. Bali, next year, master na daw nila yun. Oh, yeah. Ako, I don't care. Give, give me, give... <laughs> I don't care about these kind of, you know, these are all like novelty features. Say face unlock is a novelty feature for me. Fin in, in display is a novelty feature. Give me a super high resolution screen with no notch, with no rounded corners, a good display, a good, you know, waterproofing, good camera. I don't need, I don't need bokeh. I don't need beautification. I need optical image stabilization. I need, well, you know, alam mo yan, I need real features, not novelty features, is what I'm saying. So, hindi siya innovation? It is innovation if they can get somewhere ah. with it, no? But, it's not practical innovation for me, is what I'm saying. Mm. Diba? Mahal pa, mahal yung presyo. Mahal pa, and there's, there's a solution elsewhere that is better and more practical in my, my is what I'm saying. Once we have phones that have literally no place to put your your fingerprint, di ba? Hmm. Well, one of these days, mawawalan tayo ng actual liquid ng phone or something. I don't know. Because puno na ng lenses or something. <laughs> At that point, papayag ako na that the fingerprint scanner is on the display. But as long as we have phones where we can put the, the fingerprint scanner anywhere else and make it better and make it cheaper, then I'm for that. Innovate somewhere else. Innovate in, in making phones more affordable. Innovate in making cameras better. Innovate in making not having a notch, for example. I like those. Yeah. Um, oh my God, ang dami, daming mga comments, ang daming kailangan pag-usapan. Sandali lang. Uh, 
Mark Rogers says, or they could buy an older flagship, which is too competitive. Like me, I buy an older flagship all the time, no? Uh, thanks, Wizdek. Uh, so, reseller, Alex, he's stand my. Oh, they're talking about reseller. No, no. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Wizdek says, utility is better than trendy stuff. So, uh, that's what I'm saying, no? Not net net not not says, I feel you, kuya. So, uh, yeah, nga, we're talking about the practicality stuff. Um, Rafael Santiago says, also agrees. Re exactly. Real features with real life practical use. Yay. Thank you, guys. <laughs> You're very supportive. <laughs> All right. So, our last topic. <laughs> para matapos tayo, just, just in time for like midnight, no? Um, so, our last topic is the Pocophone F1, but not the regular Bilis, Pocophone. This topic, na. Bilis, ah. Oh, uh, the <laughs> Pocophone F1, but not the regular Pocophone F1. We're talking about the Armored Edition. Yeah. The Armored yeah. Edition. Yeah. You, you know what? Ang hinihintay ng tropa ko. Talaga? At yun yung bibilin niya, eh, wala pa dito nung September 6 yata, uh -oh. 7. Uh -oh. Napabili siya ng, ano, non-armor. Mm. No, okay. So, here's the thing, no? Uh, that's, a, that's a good thing to talk about then because, unfortunately, the version of the Pocophone Armored Edition here in the Philippines coming is not... Six gigs of RAM. Is only 6 gigs of RAM. Uh -oh. No. There were some people that are actually upset about that, no? Nadismaya kala nila 8 gigs of RAM. Oh, okay. I mean, I honestly would have wanted 8 gigs of RAM. Oh, but do you ako naman, I think I was like I'm I'm really fine with just 6 gigs personally, but some people they did Yeah, I'm sure uh, the reason why most people like uh, would like the 8 gigs is because it helps you play more games, you know. Diba? You can leave yes. a lot more games in the background. I understand. And of course, if you have the extra money, why not go for the 8 gigs of RAM? Heck, so PC, I have 16 gigs. So, di ba? Nadismeren yung tropa ko dun eh. Right. Kala niya, nandito na yung 8 gigs of RAM. Right, right, right. Yung pala 6 gigs lang. <laughs> it is slightly annoying. Slightly annoying. But I think we have to accept the fact that the Philippines takes second billing when it comes to getting uh, uh, versions of the phone, no? I was actually very surprised that we're gonna actually get the Armored Edition. However, I'm one of the na talaga tayo, one of the first. Oh, oh, oh. However, given that it's only 6 gigs of RAM, there's no reason to get the armored edition, is there? Is is there? Mm, Aesthetics lang, di ba? Mm. Likod lang naman, tsaka yung RAM lang nagbago oh. pang internal. No, no, no. Okay, so here's the thing. So, um, the armored edition that is coming to the Philippines is 6 gigs, 128. Um, that is actually interesting because it actually slots between two things. Um, the um, versions ng regular Polo phone natin is 6 gigs and 64. 6 gigs. 64 mm. only. At 18,000 or 17 something something, di ba? 16 na nga yata, di ba? May discount. Sometimes it goes down to 17. But for mm. for regular price, it's 18,000. And mm. then the 6 gigs plus 256, two steps above is 20,000 pesos. Hmm. So, and then, you the, the armored division is 6 gigs 128, lower than one, 256, hindi ba? Hmm. But it's costing 23,000 pesos. Hmm, ganun talaga yung price niya. Yung nagpamahal yung Kevlar niya. Nagpamahal yung Kevlar, why would you... Why? Why? <laughs> Why would you pay the extra 3,000 just for Kevlar? Ano, ano yung kela you need it because people shoot at you with guns, so you need the Kevlar protection? <laughs> oh yeah, when you put your ca you would put your case on, you don't you don't see this armored edition. Maybe it will maybe it will survive uh, uh, you know drop. Maybe it will be a little bit more tough against drops, I guess. But 3,000 pesos, and then you get less, uh, 128 gigs less. <laughs> right? Exactly, Brickster is exactly, exactly what I was going to say after we were talking about the price. 23,000 pesos is basically Xiaomi Mi 8. Mm, 26,000, oh, 26, 25,000 is Xiaomi Mi 8. And the Xiaomi Mi 8 is a superior phone. It's like made of metal. It's made of glass. It's got an amazing camera. Number one, number two, sa, sa DxO Mark, right? Mm. Wala lang siyang headphone jack. 
si Mi 8. Wala lang, wala lang micro SD slot si Mi 8. But if I were given a choice between 23,000 pesos Pocophone F1 and a Xiaomi Mi 8, I would choose the Xiaomi Mi 8. Why? Because it's it's a better phone. More premium, better camera. Pero walang, ano, walang headphone jack, tsaka yung micro SD, di ba? Wala. Wala. But I'm okay with that. I'm, I, like I said, I, I don't necessarily need the headphone jack so much. But think about it, di ba? It's more premium. But just if you're already paying three thousand pesos to get, yung walang notch, di ba? Yeah, walang notch. If you're already paying three thousand pesos for a more premium version of the Poco phone, why don't you pay the extra five thousand to get the most premium Poco phone, which is the Mi Eight, with better cameras and better build quality and whatnot? Why is this? Uh, why is does this the Poco phone armored version exist, and why is it being sold? Is the question. Because it's not affordable. It, the whole reason why Pocophone exists is because it should be affordable. This seems like very backwards or very anti the, the reason why people are buying the Pocophone. Very different. Sold out again, Salasada. Sold out, yes. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking of actually going to SM North tomorrow eh? or today because it's already 12. But my point here is. I don't even I, if I'm going there I might not even buy the the armored edition. I really don't understand why people are interested in the armored edition except for the 8 gig variant. Mm-hmm. Let's see here. Uh hirap talaga tayo. This uh, Mark Rogers says hirap talaga tayo mag-import ng devices Pixel nga din release eh. Well, Pixel being uh, a, a, a brand that is uh, mostly US, no. They ha- they have a hard time trying to sell here especially since the price is 50,000 pesos. Uh, Wistex says, same sensors though, si Mi 8 sa Pocophone though, may OIS si Mi 8. Exactly, OIS. DxO Mark. Remember, okay. number one sa DxO Mark or number two, whatever. I don't care. It's super high DxO Mark. OLED naman si Mi 8. Mi 8 is slightly better buy if same price sila imo. Kahit, kahit na alang headphone jack and SD card though, must less than. Yeah, but like I said, Mi 8 is premium. Mi 8 is metal and glass. Diba? <laughs> You're already trying to buy a premium version of the Poco phone. The Mi 8 is the more premium. I don't understand the reasoning behind buying a more premium variant of a cheap phone. <laughs> you know, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Pero sa akin, okay na sa Poco phone. The non-armor. The non-armor. Oh, oh. Oh, that's why I'm asking. What does the uh, why is th- why why do we need the armor? Premium specs, naman. <laughs> I think. Mali sila. They should have released the 8 gigabyte because nobody should. I think nobody should be interested in the 6 gig variant of the armored unless you just have extra 3,000 pesos that you want to spend and gusto mo medyo social yung poco phone mo, right? Napakaliit, napakaliit no reason to get the armored edition, I think. Uh, John Shaw says, "Pang gangster daw yung armored edition." I guess if you read it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's one thing though. If you like the red and black design ng armored edition, I guess you know, pasok ka talaga doon. Uh with the battery ng Mi 8 is 3.4 ah milliamp. That's oh, that's, that's 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 actually right, no. With the thank you for that, you know. I'm reminded that the Poco phone has a 4000 milliamp hour battery. That's a good thing for the Poco phone. So maybe if you prefer the bigger battery, let up. Uh, Brixer says that's why I'm expecting the 826 for 23k and 6 128 is the same as me. Yeah, true. Mark Rogers says my gripes with devices in Philippines they skim on the variant. Yeah, they skim on the variant talaga because it costs a lot of brands to bring in multiple variants. Then it's understandable, but it's kind of a bummer. Uh, Kailan po ma- pala ma- release si Mi Max? I think na release na siya. Yung Mi Max 3 ba yun? Yeah, na no, na release na yan. 15, 16,000. 15 nya tayo, September 15 nya tayo. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Mi Max 3. May picture ako siya din sa B- ano yung BTS eh. Right, oo nga. Wait lang, check natin. Pocophone is Baby Black Shark? Uh, nah, it's Baby Mi 8 pare. Two people want to join the group, eh. Maybe they watch the show. Yes, approve. 15,000 nya tayo. Approve. Um, let's see. Ito, 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 14,990. Saan ba yung? I'm looking for your post. Para did they say when the, when was it gonna release? Uh wait. Nasa details yung wala. 
Hindi ako update. I don't I don't keep up with the Mi Max 3 kasi sorry but the John Shaw asked Pocophone F1 or Honor Play. I would side with the Pocophone because the Snapdragon is super 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 better. <laughs> Ah, uh, the Philippines naman pala wala pa pala date. Ah, wala pang date. There you go, wala pang date. Um 14,990. Rafael Santiago says, "Kailan mababawi? Kailangan mabawi makabawi sa mga binubuksan na branches ng Xiaomi dito sa Pilipinas." Well, tatlo pa lang naman yung branches and uh, si ano yung Grim, Grimalkin yung naga-handle niyan eh. And surprisingly, they managed talaga na to to, to open branches which is, is very very nice, oh. Uh, Brickster says with Note 5 AI uh, 464 receiving a 9K price at flash sale in Shopee. There's nothing really fascinating hot now about buying a phone about 15K. Well, some people prefer. Some people are super. Uh, no, talaga, super. Ano ba? Demanding. Mm-hmm. They they mm-hmm. demand Snapdragon 845 for some reason. They're just playing. Po- they're just playing freaking PUBG Mobile. Right? And they want they want the best PUBG Mobile experience for some I hope me personally I don't understand. No. I play games on whatever I have. I don't care if it's performing good or bad. Kasi I don't the priority ko sa phones ko is not the same. My priority for phones is recording video, vlogging and posting social media stuff and taking photos. Uh, some people's priority are gaming talaga. I understand. But I think a Snapdragon 625 is perfectly fine. A Snapdragon 636 is perfectly fine. But, thankfully, we don't have to make that choice because 16,000, 17,000 lang yung Honor Play and uh, Pocophone. No? Kung gusto nyo ng <coughs> better gaming experience, ano kayo? Asus ROG Gaming Phone. Nintayin nyo na lang. Wala, hindi ako naniniwala doon. <laughs> ROG Gaming Phone, I think, is not for not for us. It's gonna be 50,000 pesos regardless. Minimum, mm. minimum, 50,000 pesos. That... Matagal pa eh, matagal pa darating. Matagal pa? Feel. Pero sabi ng tropa ko, bibili pa rin daw siya. <laughs> Feeling ko next year na. Wala na, pag, lum- pag lumabas yung ROG phone, wala na. Ito, lum- laos na yung 845, pare. Ganun talaga. Diba? Eight, diba? 845 eight four five yun eh. Kaya, ay, 855 September na, bro! <laughs> Asus said, end of 2018. September na, bro! Mm, na. Pasko na, Bermans na. Kailan mo ilalabas 'yan? <laughs> Kailan? Ha? October or sep- Ay, oo, oh, October or November. Kailan? <laughs> Ilan na 'yan? Jesus ko. Come on, Asus 'yan eh. May, may, uh, yeah, that's one thing with Asus, they they overpromise talaga. Uh, they overpromise a lot. Sometimes they manage to 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 to, to to over, to to provide to 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 <laughs> to give us those promises but for the most part Asus over promises hmm, snap, oh, snap, Snapdragon 845 kailan pa yung Snapdragon 845 Enero pa yung Snapdragon 845 oh, pa. oh my god <laughs> meron na dapat gawin na lang 855 we have freaking Poco phone at 17 18000 pesos who the heck is going to buy an ROG phone at 50,000 pesos when they can buy three Poco phones? Mm. The market has changed. Kahit maporma yung design. The Wala market yun. has changed. It's it your 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 gaming phone at 50,000 pesos is no longer the 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 pinnacle of gaming because now we have a 17 18000 peso phone with the same processor and it's called and it's got some water cooling eklabu eklabug right mm. <laughs> Your water cooling ano? oh. technology ba yun oh so kailan kailan ka magre-release ng ROG phone next month Huli next na. month Huli is na. what october mm, Huli na. Kaya, pag nag-announce ka, pa, sabi, kasi ganito yan eh, sa industriya, mag announce ka muna, maglalabas ka na, mag-invite mo lahat ng media for a big, big, big event. Gano'ng katagal nagpe-prepare for an event? Months! Natayang lang yung pag Minimum <laughs> one week. By one, one month. To prepare. to Ganito ka, ROG phone is a massive product that needs a lot of preparation, a lot of magbubuka ng hotel. 
magbubukan ng mga event, magpag-prepare ka. Lahat ng mga lahat ng mga standee mo, lahat ng celebrity mo na dadalhin diyan, schedule mo, ibubuk mo yan. That requires planning for about a month. If you start planning your ROG phone launch today, your first the first day you will be able to launch it is when? October half of the sec the first the second half of October. Hmm. And then, hindi pa available agad yun. Hmm. Diba? Pa order pa lang. Pa order. There are some cases where may himala nangyayari na may units na dun sa launch. But this is this is ROG phone. May units pero konti lang. This is ROG phone, 50,000 pesos. Do you think yung mga tao na ano mo, Asus Zen fans mo, will walk into your event, wherever that is, uh, ano, sa Mall of Asia or what not, with 50,000 pesos in their pockets? <laughs> Mostly credit cards, eh. That's not gonna happen. Kailan mo ilalunch yung Snapdragon 845 phone mo in 2018? <laughs> Magpapalit na, mag-855. Exactly! <laughs> Time is running out. Ayun mo Kuya, kuya, kuya. Ah. Parang yung ano, Razer 2. May lalabas na naman sila. Tapos 845 pa rin yung processor. Well, <laughs> Motorola yan eh. <laughs> Three-year-old <laughs> processor. Motorola ba yung Razer? Hindi ba ano, Motor Razer? Um, Roger Dister says, I like the side fingerprint scanner dun sa isang phone ng Sony. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Um, Kevlar could save your butt in the future. Someone shoot you in the, from behind. I don't know. I think it's not that thick at Kevlar to protect you from gunshot though. Uh, Sean Deso says, actually, nakakatempt talaga yung Poco F1 eh. Kaso, plastic build, still SED. Naspoil siya sa AMOLED. Oh, cool. <coughs> uh, Ridian says, nako, nalit ako sa discussion. Uh, <coughs> Roger Distro says, or just buy a Switch if mobile gaming is your priority. Yes, ako personally, I suggest just buying a dedicated gaming machine because I hate interruptions sa mga phones, no? And also, matagal ko nang naging, ano yan, naging philosophy yan, when ma mahina yung battery ng phones dati. So, I don't like gaming on my phones dati because uh, nasisi na 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 nakakain yung battery ng phone ko, no? Um, these days, hindi na ganun kalaki yung problem, but I've already, you know, I've already started playing games on portable devices that are actually dedicated for gaming. Not everybody can do the same, no? Hindi, hindi lahat ng tao nakakapagdala ng Nintendo Switch, for example. But, you know, I still prefer games that are full version. Hindi yung mga free-to-play, may microtransaction and stuff like that. So, you know, I like PUBG Mobile for what it is. It's very accessible, it's very fun, even though hindi ka nagpapasok ng pera sa PUBG Mobile most of the time. It's very fun. It's a cultural touchstone for for 2018. To be completely honest, it's a cultural touchstone for 2018. Um, but I think, you know, if I'm gonna play games, if I'm gonna seriously play games, pocha, yung, yung Nintendo Switch ko may Skyrim yan. Nintendo Switch ko may Mario. Yes. Diba? So, what? Well, ano pipiliin ko? Yung mobile game na yung display is whatever and then hindi masyado alam yung performance and then minsan may tatawag sa'yo and then sira na yung game mo? No. I'd go with... Uh, Nintendo Switch. <clears throat> okay, let's see here. Uh, YouTube comments naman. Uh, anak ng Poco naman sila, sabi ni Tutong Channel. <laughs> um, typically, Q4 nag si Qualcomm ng new SoC. Possible mag-X50 modem na din. I don't, I don't know. Maybe yun yung uh, LTE well, I know, 5G. Ay, yung 5G ba yan? Oh, Hindi ko alam. Hindi ko alam. Hindi ko alam. Brickster Ready says, Asus 8? is just hyping up there. Siguro, siguro. I mean, what, what else is there? Diba? Most likely 5G yan. Asus is hyping their brand. Oppo Find X for $1,000 is better at hyping than this one. Uh, John Shaw, ako FB YouTube. Fast charging lang habol ko sa phone. Yeah, fast charging is nice too. Uh, pero gusto ko comfortable to hold. Ayaw ko phones ngayon ng metal glass yung likod. Madulas kasi. Well, that's true. I miss the curved back phones in the past. Uh, Mark Roger, baka collector's item. Rafael Santiago, Xiaomi is game changer. Imagine prices ng Oppo, Vivo, Samsung. Where you get, where do you get SD450 sa J8? <laughs> where you get SD450? <laughs> uh, imagine the price. Uh, Wizdek, most logical reason for niche products. Uh, Lionel Choco, hey, what's up? Wait, we, we, ibang channel na pala for live. Yes, yeah, sorry. Uh, we were uh, we're blocked for streaming dun sa main channel for a while. So we're on the secondary channel right now. 
Uh, Rafael Santiago and then Huawei tinalputan na ang Poco ng Honor Play with almost the same price. Uh, Godphone talaga is number one, <laughs> sabi ni Angelo Amorato. Uh, most logical talaga is to pakilala yung brand nila as innovators, pasabog ng brand, mas lalo na when entering a new market. Uh, Jesus, ang daming comment. John Chow, I agree for me kung gaming just by 3DS Switch na lang. Iba pa rin kasi may physical controller. Yes, physical controller. Oh my God. Guys, hindi nyo, you, know, you don't know how many fucking controllers I own. I own so many fucking controllers. Sorry. Sorry for swearing. I, I believe in the buttons. I believe in real buttons. I, it's so important to me. Kaya, na, kaya agalit na galit ako naglalaro ng ano yung nagtetest ng PUBG Mobile for nag nagre-review ng phone. Sakit ang hirap. Yung yung touch it's so annoying. Um but yeah, ganun talaga. People are playing I understand people play on PUBG Mobile because it's fun and they only have a phone. Ba? It's it it makes sense. Um the problem with Asus is that they do not really deliver something different. They just want to pacify their gaming audience as Brickster. I think the ROG gaming phone is very innovative, but they need to release it like ASAP because that number one time is di ba may kanta na ganun? Time is running out. Number two. Di ba uh, sa Mission Impossible ata yung kanta na yun eh. The Snapdragon 845, the time is running out for that processor. We already have a Snapdragon 845 at 18,000 pesos. And it will only go lower. So, kahit gano karami pang features ng ROG phone mo, if it's three times the price of a Poco phone, nobody's gonna, nobody's gonna give a crap. Diba? Okay. Kahit gano karaming ROG fanboys dyan, and gano, kahit gano karaming features pwede mo isaksak sa ROG phone, kahit overclocked pa yung ROG phone mo, it's still three times the price of a Poco phone. You can buy right now! <laughs> Not three months from now, at fifty thousand pesos, niba. Three months from now, that's three months of gaming you can play on your Poco phone right now, niba. Bagal lang ini sa si mabagal. Bagal. They're still uh, they're still planning their marketing strategy around this ROG phone. I honestly, I think ang ganito mga yari nyan. Medyo late ang release ni ROG phone. Mm-hmm. Pero ibababa nila ng konti yung price. If they can make it like 38,000, wag 40. Oo, oh, pwede. Wag pwede nilang pa. isaksak sa 40. Lagyan, baba nila ng konti is from 40 30. para pwede mong sabihin hindi 40,000 pesos, di ba? Gawin mong 38,000 yan. Gawin mong 37,995. Di ba? <laughs> pwede, 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 pwede. Pwede. Kasi magka, yeah, magkano yung Zenfone 5Z? 30,000, di ba? 29. Okay. O, di 30,000. Di ba? Mm, thir- thir- oh. Almost 30. Taas mo lang ng konti to get the ROG phone? 335 yung ROG? Pwede. Yeah, hindi, hindi kaya. Hindi <laughs> kaya yan. Gaya. Wala po yan. <laughs> uh, uh, Mark Roger, 5G is such a gimmick sa Pilipinas. Well, ganun talaga guys. So at least LTE medyo hindi na ganun ka-gimmick. <laughs> Ay kuya. Sige, sige, sige. 37,000. Pero may preview siya nung mga controller. Huwag na. Hindi posible. Malabo yan. Ano ka ba? Doon sila kikita eh bro. Huwag kang ganyan. Siyempre. Masyado, 50 million eh. Buma- nang ba-bargain na nga tayo eh. Nangihingita na tayo ng bargain kasi malabo yung malabo. Feeling ko, 50 mil pa rin yan kahit sa December mag-launch eh. Uh, John Shaw, ayoko rin kasi na screen control. Nakahang, nakaharang kasi fingers mo. Exactly. Yeah, I don't like that as well. Uh, sweet upgrade is next year. Possibly nagsisilabasan 5G phones. Says Sean De Jesus. Interesting. In, uh, mukhang, uh, cur- mukhang gusto ni Sean De Jesus ng 5G. Um, <clears throat> grabe, ang dami niyong addict sa 5G. Ako lang hindi interesado sa 5G, pucha. What the heck? Huwag uh, muna tayo mag 5G. Ako yung, ako yung, ako yung tech writer, blogger dito. Wala akong pakiram sa 5G, ang pucha. 3G nga eh. Ang hirap na. 4G pa kaya. Yeah, 5G pa kaya. Yeah, that's true. Um, Alright. So, yun. A lot of 5G discussion. Okay. So, maybe uh, malapit na I think that's, that's that, that that exhausts our topics for today, no? I'm surprised si, uh, si Kuya Adrian D. Max uh, he has uh, lasted this long uh, sa discussion. Uh, I mean, Marami ka naman na input, but I, I'm surprised sa talagang tinagalan mo talaga for the entire discussion. Ano. Um, let's see here. Brickster says they cannot really release something around 30k. Conflict with their 5Z. Yeah, not 30k. It has to be higher, much higher than 30k. No? 
Uh, Angelo Amorato says, I-release ba ang 256GB ROM ng Poco? We hope so. Wait, two, ROM, yeah, 256. Uh, so, there's a 256GB ROM ng Poco, guys. The, the what, what's it called? The the 20,000 peso version ng Poco is is uh, 256GB, hindi ba? Mali ba ako doon? Hmm. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, wala yata 128 dito, no, 256. 256 yata. agad 'yon. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, mali ba ako? Sorry, ha? baka mali ba ako? Ang pagkakaintindi ko 6 664 and 6256 ang versions dito sa Pilipinas, right? Mali ba ako? Yung Armored Edition kasi... 128. Is... 128. Uh, wait lang, wait lang. Nasaan na ba yun? 128. Hmm. Tapos, ilang RAM ba to? Ito na to. Oh. Six, ah, hindi. 128. Six, sorry, six. sorry. Mali ako. May, mali na basa ko. Feeling ko lang. Mali na re, uh, resource ko. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Mali, 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 mali. So, so according to this, yung yung 20,000 pesos na Poco Phone F1 is 6128. Well, six, uh, yung Armor Division is also 6128. I thought it was 6256. Six, sorry, sorry. Nasira yung discussion tulay natin from earlier because I thought it was 256. However, the Armor Division is still 3,000 pesos more. Um, and then you're paying for the 3,000 pesos worth of... Armor, you're you're a uh, you're a uh, Kevlar, no. Hmm. Uh, sorry, sorry, Mark Roger. I my mistake, my mistake. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, Rafael Santiago, no pass a 5G. Polish mo nila 4G. I think we, ha- I think it's fine that we have 4G or 5G in the Philippines. Ang importante lang talaga is ang problem natin, mabagal internet. <laughs> yes, ang bagal pero ang mahal ng presyo. It doesn't matter. Yung anong ang I'm okay with having 5G or 4G sa Pilipinas. The problem is, kaya ba ng internet natin? Which is not. Hmm. So, okay. kung para sa akin, kung hindi kaya ng internet natin, wala akong pakialam. Hindi pa nga dumarating yung third telco natin. Eh. O nga eh. Pero meron na daw ano, uh, si KT. Si Korea Telecom. Ang, ano, ang quote-unquote oh? third uh, papasok. Pero, imbis, i- ano sila, uh, converge related ito eh. So, yeah, Converge, KT, ano to? Wins, Contract, Philippines. Tingnan natin kung mahanap ko ng... ng yan, ito, 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 PR Newswire. Wait, ano pa to? Matagal na pala to. Saan yung nabasa ko? Ito, August 20. Oh, tama ako eh. Yes! <laughs> KT wins 47.3 million Philippines fiber contract. Hindi lang telco. Hindi pala telco. Ano to? Um... Fiber to. Fiber. Whoa, fiber. Uh, Ang ganda pag fiber. Ang bilis. I like this. Pero yun na nga, hindi pala siya telco. Anyway, um, sorry pala doon sa 128GB 256. I, may nabasa kasi akong 256 for some reason. I don't know where. Nagkamali ako. Suri. May, feeling ko may isang picture dyan. Ang maganda, no? Korean ano, telco, telco ba yun? Oh. Gusto ko ngayon eh. Um, promising si kasi Korean. Kasi sila ang... Sila ang isa sa mga pinakamabilis oh, of ng course, internet. Of mundo. course, of course. Number one Korea. sila dyan. Um, <laughs> let's see. Pwede Asus ROG phone with all the accessories. Yeah, kung 50k, tas all accessories, pwede rin. Uh, Joe mm-hmm. Marie Rosales says, Poco F1 is still not for everybody. Yes, of course. It's still not for everybody. It's a very, very good phone for a lot of people. Yun na lang. Let's, let's say that. Um, Mali nyo yung Poco Phone F2 next year. Baka mas mura. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe. <laughs> Um, I have Poco phone. Di ko makita face unlock. Says Jeffrey Alindogan. Yon, I can't help you there. Pero hopefully may makita mo. Cause I'm pretty sure may face unlock siya no? si Poco phone. No? Um, yeah. So ang maganda sa Poco phone is may micro SD. So I guess kung bitin ka talaga, yes. kapit mo na lang ng micro SD. Mm-hmm. Uh, 5G eh, internet pa nga ginagamit ko. DSL pa lang. <laughs> Tala pang convert sa lugar namin. <laughs> this is Lionel Shaw. Oh, DSL pa. Um, do, 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 do. 25k okay John Chow okay na rin 4G LTE basta improve na lang nila yung signal yeah true um, selected areas lang meron ng converge that's true 
also mark roger says not not, not, not oh interesting so converge will become a national player now i hope so actually may launch sila noon uh, i atten- attended that talagang i think related yon dun sa kt contract nila um i thought i na attend ko sila and then actually naka yun yung instagram ko na naka casual ako pero makaka business lahat ng kasama ko <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah, so maganda yung future ni Converge because they're gonna expand talaga in provinces pa. So that's gonna be interesting. Pwede na ako lumipat sa probinsya, ayoko na ng traffic sa Metro Manila. <laughs> um, kill the notch na sana next year. Yes, Mark Roger, I don't like the notch. Junching, alam ko kuya, dalawa version si Poco, meron wala face unlock. Um, alam ba yung meron? Meron yata ala. Alam ko meron lahat yung May, face unlock. Alam ko si Mi 8 yung different face unlock yung Mi 8 SE ba yun? Tsaka Mi 8 regular? Check na natin yung ano. Uh, are they building their own infrastructure or are they relying on other telcos? I think it's their own infrastructure. Kasi si... Yung inattendan kung... Um, yung inattendan kung event ni Converge, they said na magkakabit sila ng bagong uh, trunk line for, for fiber. Fiber trunk lines. Under sea trunk lines na bago from Hong Kong and Singapore ata. So, Mahal nun. Oh, eh, pero 43 point uh, something million, di ba? So, kaya siguro yun. <laughs> Sana maging successful. Um, wait, ano to? Roger Distro says, Poco phone to unlock face, unlock lol. Change region to HK or India. Wait, totoo ba yun? Uh, saan si, sino nagtanong nun? Jeffrey Alindogan, try mo to. Change region to HK or India. Hmm. Baka important ito, hindi global ROM siguro to Yung nasa yo Jeffrey Baka, I don't know Wala akong experience, hindi ako, wala akong phone eh. <laughs> uh, Yung sa tropa ko kasi, hindi ko pa nakikita eh. Mi 8 standard Mi 8 standard equals infrared face scanner Mi 8 explorer equals 3D dot mapping Yun, there, there you go Yun yung dalawa, yun yung alam kong dalawa yung scanner Pero alam ko yung phone lahat pare pare yung Same face unlock eh. Mm, meron yun, meron. Uh, ju, 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 ju. Once mag-release yung 6 play for sure, malalesan na yung notch. I hope so. Phew. Okay. <laughs> I think that's about it, mga kuya. Malapit na maglaon na. Ayoko masyadong mahaba yung... <laughs> I think we've, 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 we've discussed some very good stuff here. And I'm, I'm surprised how... Yeah. Uh, na surprise ako na medyo actually this is healthier than normal discussion ano there's a lot more people na getting involved in this talk talaga I mean, even surprisingly 5G is a topic I didn't know na <laughs> 5G malabo pa sa Philippines yun. yeah but anyway you know I'm I'm very happy with the discussion we have now uh, so mm-hmm. thank you again kay uh, Sir uh, Adrian Dimax ang ating uh, resident uh, uh, BTS community iPhone <laughs> fan for life. Oh, uh, pero uh, thank you talaga sa pag-share mo ng mga stuffs ng ano, ng nakikita mo online online. Pero sana mas marami kang sineshare from my website saka YouTube. <laughs> Joke. Hindi okay lang 'yan. May hina kasi ako mag-post eh, kaya okay lang 'yan. Um let's see. Ah, uh, Lionel Chocho Chocho Chow but buti huli mi nakahabol mas kina huli na nakita ko nga sa wall main live pa. Uh, Rafael Santiago, I can confirm that. Same sa Note 5 AI Global. Oh, that's why. Je- it worked, thanks. There you go. Hey, we fixed some. We fixed uh, Jeffrey Allen Dogan's phone. Yes. That's the power of BTS, mga ko. Yes. Um, Jun Cheng says, Yun lang di, ako, di ko alam. Sabi kasi nung isang YouTuber sa India version da meron face unlock. There you go. We fixed it, bro. We fixed it, bros. Uh, what do you mean? There's phones without the notch now. iPhone haters. <laughs> si Tutong siya. Hindi iPhone haters si Ed. Ano lang yan. Kunwari lang. Uh, Kuya Adrian Dimas loves iPhones, Paris. Okay. Hindi mm, naman ako haters. Uh, <laughs> ano lang? John Marie Rosales says, Because Poco F1 is love is heart. Ang sabi niya. Alright guys, so I think that's about it. You know, wala na tayong topics, but uh, I like the discussion. Uh, si, I, I don't want to keep uh, Sir Adrian Dimas again. Uh, kasi ma- Bukas magpo-post ulit yan sa BTS community. Kaya kailangan natin bigyan ng tulog si Kuya Adrian Dimax. Uh, thank you very much for watching. We'll have another show, you, obviously. Thank uh, next week. Thank, oh, you. Th- thank you po lahat, si Adrian. Um, we'll have another show next week. Hopefully, na-enjoy nyo ang show natin today. And hopefully, um, yo, another announcement, of course. Uh, our BTS will be on YouTube, our Extras channel, our secondary channel. And also, we'll start streaming 
on Facebook na ulit ngayon. If, if anybody who likes the Facebook stream, please let me know. Uh, para we we can keep track. It's a little bit annoying to keep track of two uh, comment streams, yung kung saan galing, but I'll try my best a little. I think it's a good step in our yung para maging Doon na lang ng poll. <laughs> poll, poll man. Para sa yeah, but pwede, pwede kong gawin 'yon, but I think ano, may may mga stalwarts pa rin from YouTube. I think YouTube kasi honestly 1080p for example, I like YouTube mm-hmm. personally. Ayun nga lang, people Bye. marami tumatambay sa Facebook talaga. So there you go. Um, poco na siya. Mag-3 hours na ko, yes. Yes, 3 hours na, actually. It's, um, we st- uh, nag-ano eh, nag- tinawagan ko si Adrian ng mga, ano eh, 10.40, diba? 10.49, no? So, uh, mga, mga 3 hours na kami active. But for the show, mga 2 hours and 40 minutes pa lang so far. Uh, bye ko, yes, says Junching. Uh, tapos na, ang bilis naman, says to talk channel. What the heck? Alas, alauna na, bro! See you next stream, says Rafael Santiago, Mark Roger. Mas better YouTube, medyo pa quality ng FB. Yeah, wala tayo magagawa. Uh, nagbabago. Yeah, ganun talaga si FB. Well, ganun talaga. Actually, mababa yung, yung, yung parang encoding ni YouTube, ni, ni Facebook din, so that's why I don't like it. But, ganun talaga. Mga, ang Pilipino talaga is YouTube, uh, eh, eh, Facebook, ano talaga eh. Tumatambay talaga sa Facebook. Tambayan, eh. yeah. tambayan so, ganun talaga. Um, but yeah, I, li- I like the fact that, you know, at least yung mga tumatambay sa BTS community can drop by na lang sa live stream when they want. <laughs> Alright. Uh, says to Tong, YouTube all the way. There you go. Ayan. May, may, may nag-poll na tuloy. May nabumaboto na. <laughs> mabagal din sa FB. Yeah, may, minsan mabagal nga sa FB dahil sa internet natin. That's another discussion altogether because uh, FB is bandwidth limited by our ISPs, no? Uh, wala ba overnight show? Wag, wag naman, mahirap yan. Like I said, magpo si Kuya Adrian D-Max ulit bukas, kaya kailangan niya ng tulog. Lidian says, bye-bye po. Alright guys, that's it for the show. Thank you ulit, Adrian D-Max. Hey, kuya, kuya. Oh, sige. Kuya, kuya. Hmm. Ano, um, pahingi, putan, wag mo kalimutan yung, ano, yung sa Bluetooth receiver ng laptop. Uh, they, uh, I think software lang naman yung problema mo. I think hindi mo lang na-trigger yung Bluetooth mo, bro. But uh, i-message mo ko uh, after the show para pwede natin pag-usapan, bro. All right, Mawaya, that's it for the show. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good night. See you. Bye-bye. Oh, eh, mga bibili na po ako phone. Ingat kayo bukas. Hindi <laughs> tayo waterproof. Ay. Bye-bye. Good night. Para pwede natin pag-usapan, bro. All right, kailangan ko lang i-timing itong end ng stream sa Facebook kasi kailangan ko pa rin click. Bye. Good night. See you. Bye-bye. Okay, end live video here. Yeah, and this is the problem. Yan ang problem with streaming on Facebook and also on on YouTube at the same time. May mga dalawa-dalawa yung kiniklik ko para ma-stop yung stream. <laughs> All right, stop streaming.